Oi, oi, everyone. Give us a sec. I'm cutting this one a bit closer than normally. Um, because I wasn't paying attention and thought I had more time than I did. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey, Lord T. Hey, 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 hey. Right, okay, where am I? Where are we? So, yeah, um, <clears throat> in hindsight, starting this stream uh, earlier, an hour earlier than I normally would, is great because we get more time. However, I, I'm a bit worried I might not get to where I want to be in time. Uh, so basically, we're going to make a big excursion to Pleasant Valley, which is like one of these main areas just on the, um, <coughs> uh, just northish, and because it, it adjoins to two of the new bigger areas. Um, except I've just come back from a rather large excursion from uh, Desolation Point, and I thought I'd be completely back. Uh, and I'm not completely back at all. I have to get over there. Um, and then I have to carry all my shit back to Mystery Lake. So, you have to... Decisions need to be made on which route I take. Hey, Daniel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This should be a fun one, because I'm, I'm going to be streaming for like four hours today. Uh, which I'm really excited about, because I just want to play The Long Dark constantly. Um, the good thing is, that since the last stream, I, I played quite a bit, and I wanted to settle myself up. So, I've got quite a lot of fairly decent gear, um, which I'll go through in a sec. And also, all the ammo. I had slaughtered all of the wolves near here on my way from here, so I'm kind of hoping not all of them have respawned, because bastards, basically. Um, what a bunch of twats. There are so many of them. Yeah, so, so apologies for walking really slow. As I said, we've got quite a lot of gear, because I thought, basically, I thought I'd have made this trip, as in coming from Desolation Point to here, without any issues. Um, it's not worked out, that. Um, I, it probably will take me an extra 10 minutes or so, but it, it's nice and clear, which is refreshing because the coast, this is, we're in the coastal, so we are basically, um, if I go to world map, so basically we've got Mystery Lake, the Ravine, Coastal Highway, so I've just come back from Desolation Point in the bottom corner, so Desolation Point, Common Highway, blah, blah, blah. um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Mystery Lake, um, because that's kind of like my main HQ. Also, that's where my rifle is, and I'm going to need to pick that up. I've actually, that's where two of my rifles are, because I've got two guns. <coughs> and, um, yeah. And then make a journey to Pleasant Valley, which I think we can take, um, from the dam? I might low-key Google it, um, before we actually make the journey. But yeah, no, this has been really fun. I've actually quite, I've quite enjoyed this. This has been pure vibes, in fact. Um, and also, like, <coughs> uh, I've been kind of RPing a little bit. Um, so you may notice that the map was all revealed. So, um, to be honest, coastal, this area is probably my least revealed area. But the actual desolation point and, um, uh, the mystery lake especially, I've been really, like, quite obsessive with, um, uh, using the charcoal to kind of map the area and also using the spray paint, just because it's fun. And also kind of marks where I've been. I just came back from desolation point, so we've got a nice load of custom tools now. Which, to be fair, I could have made in full-on Mustang, but I wanted to make the journey. And also, we don't have to worry about the heat anymore, although the cold, rather, because my character's just got the best, well, nearly the best gear in the game. Technically, he could have better, like, some some better stuff, but it's also a lot heavier, so I think I've balanced clothing weight um, with, <coughs> um, with heat, which is quite cool. With insulation, that's the word we're looking for. <laughs> so this is a, an inno I hope was hoping to have this walk done. <laughs> Because what I was going to do was hang out in this area for a little bit, which I'm still going to do, um, and then make the trudge back um, to Mystery Lake. Because a lot of walking. I've got the, um, I crafted, between the last stream, I crafted the Moose Satchel, which adds an extra five kilograms of total weight I can use, which is cool. Um, so we're moving a little bit faster than I would with this much weight. But at the same time, now, hey Kent, welcome, welcome, welcome. I think none of the wolves have respawned. Oh wait, no, that I think that's the dead deer from earlier. I think we're good. Yeah, no, I th I think we're good. So basically, yeah, like um, I think it's day. What day is it now? Day forty-four. Fuck me. So I think the last stream would have been probably like the stream I was about there. So we're about kind of two weeks on. Um, uh, hey Z. Um, so we're about two weeks on in game from the, the stream from uh, two days ago. Um, and I've, I've been quite busy. 
Loads of my character skills have gone up now. I can now make fires without tinder, so he's a lot better at everything, which is quite cool. But yeah, I, I was sort of hoping this journey would be done. But So while I was in this area, so in this, like, big frozen lake, there are dozens of wolves. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, and I got really pissed off at them because I had to keep avoiding them. So I went out with a bow and arrow um, and practiced and killed all of them. It was very satisfying. And I think, I think they've not respawned. They do respawn, but I think it takes... Because I've only been away from this area for like five, six in-game days. So I think, to be honest, they've not respawned, which will make the journey back a lot easier. <coughs> right, okay. Yeah, I, I, I literally think they're good. I'm still going to have my pistol just in case. Of which I have two revolvers now. I don't need two revolvers, but we've got a spare if this one breaks. Which is quite good. Because we got that in the last stream and I was very happy because um, I didn't have the revolver raises. Also, when we finally get to making, so we can like craft ammo in a certain area, I can't remember where it is. I've got 70 revolver shell casings. And I've actually got more than this. I've got like a maybe 13 or something. But basically, I, I when I start making ammo again, do the dual wielding. You can't dual wield, which is absolutely bollocks. Um, it's almost as if in this kind of survival game, they don't really want you wasting ammos by, you know, akimbo gunning everyone down, but... It is what it is. Yeah, I'm sorry that I was ho I was hoping to have made this war. Look at the time now. If I'd have just set the stream back 20 minutes, I would have made it there and dumped off my stuff really comfortably. Rookie. I thought about delaying it to half past, but I did say 8 o'clock and I did want to keep my word. But, like, it's there. Totally, exactly that. Honestly, unacceptable. Um. Ah, oh, one of the wolves about you, little fucking assholes. Ah, I hate the wolves. So the problem with this area, right, is you see got these mounds at the side, yeah? What ends up happening is the wolves will sort of walk alongside it, but on that side. So you won't see them at all. And then you'll just wander by and one of them will suddenly clock you, but they'll be really close. They'll immediately charge and you don't have enough time to shoot them in the face. Um, fucking assholes. Right, I'm going to switch to my mouse and keyboard because it makes me a little bit easier at shooting. <coughs> so that car, I think... Is where my bed. Yeah, yeah, that's where my camp is right now, I think. But there's an asshole wolf over there because fuck me. So we're gonna shoot this dickhead in the face. And I'm hoping it's just him. Because I've cleared this entire area out and I thought they would spawn a lot slower than this. <coughs> <coughs> though, in my, though in their defense, my character has been gone an entire week, so. Eh, fine, I guess. <laughs> I'll settle in this area a little bit, because there's still so Oh, there we go. Where are you, little sh piece of shit? There you are, you little fuck. Come on here. That was some terrible shooting, David, but he'll die, so it's fine. He started weaving! Little prick. Right, okay. So I think that's good. Yeah, I'm quite excited to go to Pleasant Valley. So this is actually one of my better playthroughs. I, I usually get a board around 70 days. And we're on day 44 already. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no I want to do all of this. So that's quite neat. I think streaming it helps, to be honest. Because I've been sort of like, right, I want to make things cool. <laughs> yeah, Peter will not be happy with me right now. Um, I have... So basically, at Mystery Lake, I've made a little bit of a rock storage. So that you can make this outdoor storage area called a rock pile. And I've made that because all of the p animal pelts and intestines and everything that I was um, curing for crafting, which I never use anyway, um, were taking up too much space. So I've got an entire little pile of rocks outside just full of dead animal bits. Yeah, yeah. So this is my temp. This is my temporary flat. Um, I've made a mess apparently. Come here, you piece of shit. This is my flat. This is my locker. Full of stuff. Let's drop off my shit. So, okay. Bump. Have I literally filled up a lot? Well, we're obviously not going to be taking that. Yeah, this is the coastal highway. So, basically, this is the area near... Um, I'll get most of these. Um, near Mystery Lake. So, basically, it's the area just beyond Mystery Lake. I'm going to take my nice cool ones. Um, I'll leave my extra rifle there. Where did I leave my rifle? 
I've got a rifle somewhere. I need to find that. Oh, no, that that's literally a mystery light. Yeah, I left the rifle in mystery light, didn't I? Ew, y'all. Right, so let's get my weight down. Hey, Stella. Hey, 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 hey. Stella, you joined at the right time because prior to this, I was, um, I was walking back really slowly. <laughs> let's take some charcoal. I need, like, a bit of it. Um... Got a dead rabbit. I don't. I didn't even want that rabbit. Just a wolf killed it, and I figured I'd pick it up. Um. All right. Okay. Got so much shit. Right. What books am I gonna read? Don't. Oh shit. That's the book I do read. So much shit. That's a bit better. Yeah, see, this is one of my favourite bases as well. Um, <clears throat> Mystery Lake probably still beats it for me. Just because it's amazing and I love it so much. Um, but this is, like, my close second. We're going to Pleasant Valley, which is my third favourite one. It's still pretty good, but the problem with Pleasant Valley, it's an absolute bull lake to get there. Um, and it's quite... It's easy to get lost in Pleasant Valley. That's my kind of main issue with it. But that is still where we're going, so it's fine. Um, right. So when I do go back to Mystery Lake, we're going to be quite harsh with the resources I'm taking back. Because I don't need even a fraction of this stuff. Um, <clears throat> I have to be quite kind of like, right, don't need that, don't need that. Where's my gun gone? I had a rifle and I've lost it. Did I, did I put a rifle in a locker? Oh, there's a food. So much food. Oh, no, I didn't bring my gun. I literally just said that. Okay, cool. Right, so decisions have been made. I can just plow on. Uh, Grim, I love it too. What, literally one of my favorite games. Um, so I can just plow on to Mystery Lake now, which I possibly might do, to be honest. It will mean a little bit of walking, but it means I can just be a little bit more like, okay, are we going to take this or not? Because I'm not going to take barely any of the shit I have to us. I'm going to take mostly survival stuff. Um, I probably won't even take all the books, and that's quite a big faux pas. Um, I won't take all the food. Stuff like that. Yeah, take that. <clears throat> Um, I've got a chilling amounts of water. I've got enough things. Because the thing is, this place is close enough that I can sort of scuttle back. Oh, I will take all of them. Um, I can scuttle back if... Oh, did I just take everything? Oh, I hate that button so much! Fuck's sake. <laughs> you can accidentally press the wrong button and take everything. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Fuck's sake. a lot of gear. Fucking prick. <laughs> oh, gee, I just took everything in that fucking container. Oh, gee, golly good. Right. Um, okay, sorry about that. I picked up everything in the container, which I didn't want to do. Because I'm a tit. But no, since the last stream, I've um, basically picked up some of the best gear in the game, mostly. Right, I don't need that many of those, because I've got one. Well, I'll take one more. Um, I don't need... I'll take four of those. Knife can fuck off. Fuck off. Keep my mirrors. Tools can fuck up. And I take... I do like spray paint, I'm not going to lie. So I do want to bring most of that. Okay, so as long as we're moving at a decent speed, that's what I'm happy about. Okay, all the medical stuff. I'm going to leave the books because I don't need them anymore. Um, those, absolutely, all of those books. All the drugs. Oh, I need to take my revolver. Right, I'm going to drop that revolver. Yeah, right. It's, it's so easy because basically you have to, it, it's like you press X to select multiples of things, but you can select it too much. Um, I'm going to get rid of all this wood. I don't need it. Um, I dropped all that scrap metal. I'm going to drop you because I don't need you. You can fuck off. You can fuck off. Oh, I did it again! No, it's fine. I, I deposited it this time. That's not too bad. 
I did that earlier where I dumped all of my stuff in by accident and it had my um my sleeping bag. And obviously that 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 will kill you if you forget your sleeping bag. Um you know what? I'm going to take a pragmatic choice and uh, yeah, I am. And I had to come all the way back for my stupid shitting sleeping bag. Right, I'm actually going to deposit some of these because I don't need all of them. Okie dokie. Oh, I don't need a second lantern. Um, also, there's a load of food in the other one. You know what? I can probably get rid of some of this. Um, it's quite light. Oh, what a purification tablet. It's going to fuck right off. Okay. That weight is good. Uh, Eric, yeah, this is absolutely permadeath. There's also nine kilograms of food in here, um, which I'm not going to take <laughs> uh, as much as I would really like to. So we'll take the nice food. Not the gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. The nice food. Pork beans. Yeah, that should be good. Um, I think I've got a lot of water as well. Oh, fuck off, rabbit. I'm carrying a full-blown rabbit. Um, a wolf killed a rabbit earlier. Oh, Kent, to be honest, it, it's one of those games that, like, it's hard until you sort of get it. And then actually it's like, oh, this is actually fairly straightforward. To be honest, I can probably carry most stuff. I'll take one litre of water because I won't need more than that. I won't take the dog food. Right, okay, that'll do. I'll take the pizza as well. Right, okay. All right, okay, 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 okay. Um, now I'm just going to eat a load of food. Oh, um, so here's a, a thing, Grim. Um, I, I've mentioned this a few times, but I've never actually played the story mode. It's on my to-do list. Um, I've just... Oh, I don't need that one. Um, I've just never been in the mood for it. <laughs> Which is really weird, because I've been literally playing this game since early access. Um, I just absolutely never played the story mode. Oh, and take my put props with me as well. Cool. All right. Bye, base. Oh, no, I need my maple saplings. Absolutely taking those with me. We're running fast-ish. Fast enough. Bring our sleeping bag. That's the most important thing. Right. And we'll do that quickly so that way if I have a need to exit. It'll... Basically, the game saves when you go in buildings. So, if, for example, I've forgotten everything, this will mean I can just quickly reload if I can just... Rather than running all the way back. <laughs> um, when you have to go a long journey, that's something I do. Right. So, we've got, basically... So we've got a... Oh, I haven't even really surveyed this area very much. Oh, there's a fucking moose. No, I'm not killing it. Moose, you get to live. Because I'm not fucking carrying 40 kilograms worth of meat back. No. No, moose. We don't need your shit. James, I'm always surprised people are not don't know how I look already, because um, I've been streaming for years, and there are loads of videos of my face. Do the neck twist on the moose. <laughs> Z, would you like me to kill another rabbit? Because for you, baby, I will. Um, Right, we've got a little bit of a, a bit of a walk ahead of us, but once we get to Mystery Lake, it'll be grand. <coughs> <coughs> I know, I don't think I've done any challenges. So basically, like, I've done one of the feats, um, because I happen to get it after the last stream. I've, I just, I always, I've been playing this since, I think, 2014, when it left early act, or when it was in early access. Um, and then I've just been like, I'll periodically play it for like 20, 30 hours. Um, no, we're going to do it, Z, don't worry. We've got, I told us a four hour stream. We're, we're going to get in that shit. Um, and I don't think I've ever done the challenges, and I've never played the story. I'm going to play the story at some point when I'm in the mood. Um, it's not that I'm not in the mood, but I just, I don't know. Every time I'm in the mood for the game, I want to play survival, so. It is what it is. Speaking of it, I'm fucking thirsty as shit. Um, that's why I keep coughing. Where's me bottle of Coke? Oh, look at that. I bought a cheeky bottle of Coke, zero. Also, my wrist hasn't healed yet, so I can't actually open things properly. You get to laugh at me not being able to open this, because I hurt my arm the other day. Ow! 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 Right, I'm fine. I'm okay. Note to self, kids and kiddos, um, don't fall over when you have a heavy back, backpack on, because you will hurt your hand. Or, better still, just hit your face, to be honest, because that's easier to deal with than having a hurt arm. I had, um, I was cooking the other day, and I was poaching some eggs, and I had to open a new bottle of vinegar, and I physically couldn't open the bottle. Um, it was not, um, it was not an impressive display. 
I had to like get it in my teeth and use my slightly less fucked arm to just go right like that. Not not the press. Are you fucking? I slaughtered every single wolf here like a week ago, which by that I mean yesterday. Um, and now they're all fucking back, the little shits. Little shits. To be fair, my character's not walking too slow, so I'm going to take this. I do like how a lot of this game is literally just you transporting goods. Um, but I, I like having my base in Mystery Lake, because Mystery Lake sort of is so central that I can sort of dive off to other places. So, for example, like, I've gone all the way to Desolation Point, which is technically the other end of the map. And I've, like, picked up what I want, and now I'm sort of, like, scuttling back. I've gone the wrong way. For fuck's sake. Oh, I didn't bring any. Um, no, I can, maybe I can just pass through here. I think... Oh, yeah, no, I went via the sea before, didn't I? Okay. Fucking little pricks over here. So you can't lose that! See, I like how this is an incredibly niche joke that no one else will get. Is that guy running away from me, straightening away? That's right, fear me, because I killed your entire family, you little prick. Oi, oi, attraction. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did he just fall over and die, or is that someone else? Or was that the one I killed earlier and he finally bled out? Lol. Fucking wolves. I hate wolves. Bunch of pricks. Actually, no, I should really reload this. Let's reload. There's a new raccoon... S Ugh. The problem is, right, I, li I, I like... The Resident Evil films are really, really weird. Because they're sort of this own niche genre of film in their own. And it's like, it's become an almost self-fulfilling meme. Like, the Resident Evil games, fucking amazing. Love them, especially the remakes are two of my favourite games ever. Um, but, like, the films are just goofy. I watched, um... I watched one with Mila jo Oh, it's always with Mila Jovovich, but it's the one where she nearly gets killed by a giant fish thing at the start, and then they have to defend this really tall tower building. And I think, technically, Chris Redfield and Claire are there, and it, the whole thing is, um... Oh, it's a series on... <sighs> I've heard... I need to check it, because I, I think I heard somewhere they were redoing it, and they were making it not shit. It's not their shit, they're just weird. <sighs> um, but I do need to give them a butcher's. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake, Stella. Stella, I can defend you on a lot of the horror films that you and I low and love, but, like... You can like the Resi horror films as trash, but nothing better than trash. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I mean, to be fair, that that's a very valid reason to want your smoking hot wife to beat shit up. Um, it is Mila Jovovich. Although I, I'm mildly annoyed because she was so good in The Fifth Element. I feel as if she got bizarrely typecasted by the Resi films. So yeah, okay, watching his wife, his smoking hot wife, beat the shit out of people is good. I'm still pissed off that she didn't do more Fifth Element kind of films. <clears throat> she is fit though. Fair dues. Fair dues on that one. I've been watching, incidentally, um, what have I been watching? I mentioned to my friend this earlier. Um, I've been watching We Dwell, is it We Dwell in the Shadows or We Live in the Shadows? Um, ah, uh, it's going to get fucking, ah, uh, fuck you, Coastal Cottage. Fuck you in the arse. Ah, uh, just as I get near where I need to be. Fuck it, we're going to sleep here. Um, ah, uh, I hate the Coastal, fuck Coastal Cottage, Coastal fucking railroad thing. Because I can't see shit now. Fucking prick. Um. God fucking damn it. Alright, we'll have to rest up here then. What we do in the shadows, that's it. So I watched the film uh, with uh, uh, I can never pronounce the name. Uh, T 
Takiti Wati, um, which is really funny. And then I'm watching the series on BBC iPlayer. So good. Ah, uh, fucking snowstorm. I don't mind the cold for the snowstorm. The thing that pisses me off the most is I can't see shit. And this specific area is a nightmare to navigate. Also, I apparently never came in here, so... Anything actually good? No. I think I can use this. I'll take the socks with me. God damn it. Fucking, I won't. I don't need another lantern. I hate the storms in this area. Most areas you can deal with the storms. This one you basically can't do anything in the storm. Because you just physically can't navigate the coastal highway in this specific part without the storm. With, with the storm, because you just can't see anywhere and you're going to get lost. God shitting fucking damn it. I don't mind if it's windy. Does it have to be invisible as well? <laughs> right, well, let's see if we sleep for four hours. It'll stop. Gonna stop? You piece of shit storm? Yes, you are. I don't mind if it's dark, because dark dark isn't too bad. Where's the um where's the door? Is there a bit? No, I need to see. That is the wrong way. Oh, did I search that one over there? I think I did, yeah. I'm not taking that jerry can, because I have so much fuel. Um Right, come on. Be clear. I don't care if you're dark. Hey! Thank you, you fucking asshole. While we're here. Oh, I don't have anything, do I? Oh, okay, fine. Right, I'm still gonna mark you to say I'm, I did my thing. Because my OCD needs to mark my buildings. Also, oh, I was hoping it would reveal the map. It did not reveal the map. Well, fuck off. Goddamn storms. On the plus side, we're fully rested now, so there's that. Let's have some. Let's have some orange soda. And some more orange soda. Bit of a Keenan Kel reference for you there. Channeling that um late 90s, early 2000s children's TV. Loves it. Right, so we have a big ass walk up there. And then we get to the crop crumbling hut. The area linking Mystery Lake and Thingy. And then Mystery Lake, we get to the cottage. Then I dump all of my shit off of the cottage. We kill a load of deers, maybe a moose if we can find one. And then we can fuck off to Pleasant Valley. And I'm going to take my rifle this time. Yeah, we're talking about Keenan and Cal. Because, you know, Cal loves orange soda. Is, is that a reference that makes me feel very old? Um, I never understood. I, I saw a, like, that popped up patch on TikTok the day where someone was showing old episodes. And I was watching it thinking, why orange soda? It tastes like shit. Like, it's the worst Fanta. Honestly. Cow, you yeah, tasteless twat. Children's TV. What a shit. Also, I saw the guy who played Keenan. Um, he was on like SNL or something. And dude has not aged. Like man has just he just looks exactly the fucking same. It's really, really weird. I mean I've aged fairly well. Um It's not orange juice, it's orange soda. He very specifically says orange soda. I think you're fine. And unless it's a mist. Z, are you watching this in English? Or are you watching this in uh, Switzerland? Swiss, whatever language they speak of there. Because man, man is definitely talking about orange soda. I'm fucking Google it. But yeah, no. Orange soda? Really? Yeah, and he drinks orange soda. He even says Kale loves orange soda. Oh, okay, I, I forgot your point then. Yeah, but the thing is, is juice is juice. Soda is like carbonated stuff with some flavouring in it. Um, it's not really juice, is it? <laughs> right, um, I think we have a way to go up there. There's a bridge. Maybe a bear. We have to be careful about that. See, what I like about this area is how pretty it is. What I hate about this area is that you half the time don't get to see how pretty it is. Um, 
because it's like always really misty, which is really I'm getting Far Harbor vibes from this. In the fact is that I'm just like, yeah, I love. Oh, it looks so pretty, and you're like, oh nope, can't see. Um, can't see shit. I'm I'm not gonna tickle the bear mainly because I didn't bring my rifle with me. I've I've left my rifle at Mystery Lake. In actual fact, I found a third rifle that I had to leave behind because I was like, it, I'm not taking that. I don't need. It. I I don't even need two. Um, I've got a gun. 69 bullets. Nice. Uh, Grim, that's because we're carrying loads of heavy shit. We're carrying 54 kilograms worth of gear. I am over-encumbered, but the reason being is because we're transporting all our shit back to Mystery Lake. But once we get to Mystery Lake, we're going to go to Pleasant Valley. And when we go to Pleasant Valley, we're not going to transport our shit there because our main base is still going to be in Mystery Lake. I'm going to take my supplies with me, so I'll move a lot faster. Did I ever make the boost bag thing? I did. And it's a little damaged, so I need to repair it at some point. Yes, I did. So basically, my character can carry an extra 10 kilograms worth of weight. So that's why he's moving so fast. Normally, with this level weight, he'd be moving at a snail's pace. He's, like, walking quite slowly. But, because we're going to Pleasant Valley, we're going to go to Ash Canyon. And if we go to Ash Canyon, I think it's Ash Canyon. I've never been there, so I have no idea what it looks like. Um, we can get, there's a technical backpack, which adds an extra five kilograms onto my character's weight. So now he'd be moving even faster. So exciting. Being able to carry more shit, oof. This is also one of the reasons why I don't really wear any of my animal hide clothing. Because even though it's technically better for the heat, like it gives you more insulation, um, all of it is like several kilograms more heavy. What is that? Oh, that's a rock. That sounds like a wolf. Yeah, so this is like most of the game, to be honest. <laughs> Wandering around. Stella, um, do you want, because this way, um, I will do it and we'll miss Maybe, um, if not this week, but we'll also play this week. We should actually, I was thinking, we should actually stream some Dead by Daylight. Like, even if it's just you, me, and some other people just playing the survival mode, um, I think it'll be really good vibes. Um, because we had good banter. And it's quite funny, I'm sure, watching me be chased by serial killers. So, yeah. Let me know if you want to do that, Stella. Oh, also, we need to do, like, just us hanging out. Yeah, I know you're up for that. Yeah, but I also wanted to, you know, see if you're up for the streaming side. Cool. Yeah, and apologise for cancelling uh, yesterday. Um, big email. Had to send it. Took me ages. <laughs> All sorted now. All good. <laughs> uh, do you think they will have basically on yourself? Yeah, probably. Probably. It seems weird um, that they wouldn't, to be honest. Considering, considering how much base building is such a major part of 76... And it's a bit of a DLC cash cow for them. I'd be surprised. I know, Stella, but I feel really guilty. Because I, I think I delayed the stream before. I delayed us playing before, and then I cancelled. Um, I did feel quite guilty. But it's fine. I'll let you stab me a few times. Well, I won't. I'll run away from you. But, like, uh, uh, in, in spirit, I'll let you stab me in, um, in Dead by Daylight. Oh, I haven't gone to these ones before. Did you see? I'm sorry. Wait a second, because I wasn't going to stream it. You're a liar, Z. You're a liar. <laughs> um, and plus, now you get your 24-hour stream, like I promised. But you have to watch the entire thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, another one? You pricks. Fucking wolves. Yeah. I'm going to go in here. Because I haven't actually searched this one yet. But I'm to kill that asshole. So the reason, main reason I came for this area is, like, there's lots of good gear. So I have, um... Why, why have I got this? I don't know. Um, I've got, like, really thick jumpers now. I've got, um, a pea coat, like, this jacket. So my character's... He's actually... I've got thermal underwear as well. Um, and these really good snow pants. So I've actually got, like, nearly the best gear in the game. I am going to keep the socks, though, because they break often. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just give us a stab, mate. Even if you accept it, it's it's our principle. Have to give us a good shank in. Right, um, anything in here? Right, I'm going to murder that wolf outside, because otherwise he's going to... Actually, what's the time? Oh, it's not super late. Where's the door? 
Oh, don't let me have to get my thing out to get the door, you prick. Ah, there we go, thank you. Oh. Get your fucking gun out, you piece of shit. You jackass. Oh, I've got six limb bullets. Oh, I had six limb bullets before, actually. Well, I can guarantee you these socks my man's wearing are not new. Um, some people don't like using the spray paint. Incidentally, I love using it because it really gets me the narrative. Um, like, all of my map. Is that another one? Is marked with um, loads of spray paint marks where I know where I've been and stuff. <laughs> if you actually talk to... Um, Z, I mean... I'll make your deal maybe when I become like if the channel gets a massive boom like from Starfield or something and then I become like a, 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 a micro celebrity and I have to do a big charity stream sure I'll do one then but and no offense I don't think I'd manage and I don't think I'd want to do a 24 hour stream <laughs> I mean I think I could do it as long as I could pause and fall asleep halfway through one of those streams you just get to sleep me snooze but yeah if I become a huge celebrity after Starfield drops that I get back to making actual videos as opposed to just dicking around, then yeah, sure. Do I play Ark? No. I think I own it. I I had it on like an old, oh, basically this is way before I became a YouTuber, I had it on my old old, old computer which was a pile of shit so it just wouldn't play. And I just think I caught, sort of missed my time for it, I think. Um, and I think those sort of games I just don't have the energy for. Um... That kind of like Ark um, Rust kind of game. I like I liked Icarus for a bit, but again, it's sort of the thing where it's like very grindy. Um, this this is not similar because it has a certain sense of pace to it. That's another fucking wolf. God shitting fucking damn it! All right, it's fine because once I pass through the this is a very wolfy area. To be fair. I think I'd, I'd make a fantastic bobblehead, actually. My hair's looking very nice today. So my hair looking like this. Big. With like a, a spanner or something. Because I'm a spanner. But also because I build shit. See? Calling me a twat. But also highlighting my skills. Oi! Come back, you prick, so I can shoot you. Yeah, you NTP. You NTP. I said that really fast. Oh, there are two of them, you little shitholes. Okay, I got that one. Did I hit that one? Yeah, squeak, you little fucking pricks. Is he bleeding? I think I missed him. I think I aimed him way too early. You have to be careful of the wolves, because they can run away and then they'll sort of... Stop running near you and just immediately charge. Okay, I think I'm okay. Oh, the head! No, I didn't say the hair looks fine. The head does not look fine, so The hair looks amazing today. I have lovely. I'm having a very good hair day. I went to my barber, and it's had a couple of days to sort of settle. You know what I mean? It's doing that settling thing. It's done. Very good work. Because I'm not in the office this week, which I don't have to show anyone. So I, I did my hair nicely for you lot, is what I'm saying. Right, okay. We're nearly to the end of this stupid fucking highway. Then we've got the other one. Would you get to watch me pass the ricketiest bridge ever? Which is fun. And then we get to Mystery Lake. Then we'll hang around and vibe for a bit. And then we'll go to Pleasant Valley. Which I think I have to go via the dam. I'm going to have to Google it because I can't remember the route. I think you go via the dam. Okay, I think it's over here, cool. There's sometimes a bear over here, I think. Really? I don't know what Joker from Persona looks like, but I know everyone in Persona has very cool hair. Um, it's one of those game series I've always been meaning to pick up, so I don't know the specific person you're referring to, but I know it's probably pretty cool. So, high five your, high five your eldest for me. Right, okay, we're good. 
See, what I was doing yesterday was just like watching Netflix and just walking around. And honestly, it's quite vibes. Um, this is one of those games you can just sort of do other stuff. Uh, so guys, I'm going to try and dig out a horror game um, sometime soon. I'll possibly Outlast, because I want to play something a bit more. Because I'm trying to, I'm going to try and get the habit of streaming regularly, as, as you've noticed, which is why I've streamed twice in the last few days. Um, uh, probably not, like, I'm going to try to stream, like, do, like, two or three things a week is my plan. Um, and I want to find, like, obviously this is fun to play, but watching me just stream this constantly is a bit boring. So I'm going to try and find something else. Um, and I'm going to do a Fallout 76 video this week. Um... Because it's been a month since I've done a build. Someone just murdered something, I think. Yeah, the long... Well, I mean, not right now, because it's dark and I'm walking really slowly. The long dark, Lamal. Um, but yeah, no, it is quite vibes. I'm quite excited to get the Pleasant Valley. Ple Pleasant Hat Valley has one of the best houses. It's this massive farmhouse in the middle of um, a giant field. The only issue is you can get very lost in it. So I'm going to be taking my spray paint and marking all of my roots because I will get lost otherwise. I'm, I'm not too bothered about stuff popular and I don't think I'd probably play a game like that. I'd probably play something a bit more action-y. Um, so I was thinking actually maybe live streaming Outlast because I've never played Outlast ever. Um, actually, that's like I've started it and I've watched um, Gemini Games when she streamed it for a little bit. Um, but that's the only time I've ever really interacted with it and it seems fun. And I've got both the games, so. Right. I've got this area. Let me check my map, actually. Yeah, see, we just got to get through this now. And then that's the Mystery Lake. Right, I'm tempted to have a snooze, but at the same time, I also don't want to... I'll have some food, though. Ooh, let's have some salty crackers. Um, ooh, a bit of tin of sardines. You know what? I've seen pictures of the Evil Dead. I literally know nothing about the game, the gameplay, or anything. <laughs> Z, as much as I would love to complain about Hideo Kojima again, I think maybe we spoke about him a little bit too much in the last stream. Plus, you know, I'm technically start, still part of that, you know, 5 or 5 games part in the network stuff, and I don't want to piss them off too much. Mainly because they're also the publisher for Control, and that's one of my favourite games. Oh, is it? So it's basically like Dead by Daylight. Oh, that's fair enough. Okay. Yeah, I do want to stream a bit more Dead by Daylight, actually. Um, that was vibes. I'm thinking at some point this week, I'm going to revamp all of my streaming thumbnails for YouTube, because I'm going to do it. Um, I have to pay attention a little bit here. Um, and just as a side thing, this has made me, I was thinking when I was playing the by, um, with you with the daylight of the other day, and I need to get around to doing it. Right, so let's please not die. I'm going to put my lantern on. I don't need my lantern, but it makes the whole thing a lot more dynamic. Oh, Z, Control is one of my favourite games. Um, it's very weird, and sometimes it can be borderline... Oh, wait one second. Borderline... Oppressive is a way of wording it because of the really brutalist art style. But it put me in a really cool headspace, and I really appreciate that. To the point where I still have it installed, because I want to get all the achievements. Woo! Didn't die! Yay! But no, Control is an absolutely insanely good game. Uh, the DLCs are really good as well. It actually makes me want to replay Alan Wake, because Alan Wake and Control are sort of linked. Uh, like narrow, well, not sort of links. They mention Alan Wake and Control, and there's a whole DLC about Alan Wake. Um, absolutely awesome game. Highly recommend it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remedy. Uh, made by Remedy, published by Five of Five Games. It's so good. It's the combat. The combat is insane. Um, the story is batshit. Like really, really weird. It's one of those games. Um. I kind of wished I'd streamed it, actually, to be honest, but I did also enjoy just getting really drunk and playing on my own. It's one of those games that I recommend reading everything that you find. Oh, yeah, Jazz, yeah, they're definitely linked. Um, there's a, no spoilers, obviously, but they do mention it quite openly. Um, the, there is a DLC in Alan Wake, the, um, in, in Control, which is about Alan Wake and ties up some storylines in Alan Wake. 
yeah, yeah. So it, it's the same universe. Um, which is really, really cool. Right, we didn't die, everyone. We didn't fall off the bridge. I've done it once when I first started playing the game because I tried sprinting and, and fell off. You die. You die. Um, funnily enough. Yeah, no, control is so good. Ah, I've got like nine, like nearly all the achievements because I, I went really obsessive with it. Um, the only ones I've missed are like a few of the kill this many people with this kind of achievements. But I got like, I think all of the collectibles. Oh, that's fair. So, yeah, no, it is, um, it's a very pretty game and does deserve a good, gr see, this is where the thing with my weird computer, um, where it sometimes crappies out on some games, even though it's brand new, um, but for control, it ran smoothly. Um, I died here once. That was fun. Um, tip, um, when you're playing this game, uh, don't forget to pick up your bedroll, he says. Thank fucking Christ, I didn't forget it. Um, don't forget to pick up your bedroll when you sleep. Um, because what happened is I l put my bedroll down, like, about a fair walk away from here at the start of this area to sleep. Forgot to pick it up, got to the end of this area, and my character was freezing, but not too cold, but just too freezing enough. And tired. And I ended up dying because he froze and, and yeah, he just died. I was really, really angry. Um, Stella, it'll probably be free on PS. It's one of those games that become... It comes free quite often. But if not, pick it on the Stella. Stella, you will love it. It's so good. It's really action-y, um, but the characters are really interesting. Um, it's just very batshit insane. It'll make... You'll make... You'll want to watch the X-Files after you've played it. Hey, Ultra Knight. Right, we're making good time. I think I'm on bridge number two now, so we're on. We're on this one, I think. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> See, this is why I'm glad I um, made a point to actually note down, use the map thing. Do Stella do? <clears throat> right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to be streaming a lot more, um, because I'm in the, mo I'm, I'm, I've kind of broken my little, my, uh, dry spell, uh, shall we say, with streaming, which I quite like. I'm be revamping, I'm probably, because I'm working from home this week, um, which is cool, so I have more time to work, um, work and also dick around, but by dick around, I mean, I'm going to update on my thumbnails, so they look a bit more dynamic. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and, try and have two games on the go, um, and then I'll probably, because they were kind of sort of vibing, and there's something really cool drops that I want to make videos on, and then I'll probably make a Fallout 76 video erratically. Um, have you guys played a sound mine? No. Wait, no. Jazz, what is that game? Is that, um, no, I'm thinking of something else. There's a horror game I got where you have to kind of investigate crime scenes and you do it by listening to audio sources. Is that it? Because I've got that. And I liked it and then put it down after five minutes because I was like, oh, I'll play this later and then never played it later. But is that the game or am I just thinking it has the similar name? Oh, it is! Hey! <laughs> the top down one, right? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I played the first mission, uh, the tutorial one. Um, yeah, it's really cool. It's really good. I actually bought that. I remember that one vividly because um, on last Halloween, I was like, I'm in the mood for spooky games. Um, and I got... I got a sound mind. I got. What's it fucking called? One second, actually, this is bothering me. I've got a game. I'm just gonna re. I'm gonna quickly just close the window so I can check it. I got a sound mind, and I got the something, the something. <laughs> what was it called? What was the goddamn game called? Um. What was the goddamn game called? Where are you, little fucker? It was this really cool game, which I really liked. It was like, um, it was a very slow paced investigative game. Ah, the pain, the pains Creek killings, which is a really, really good game. Um, 
Payne's Creek Killings. So I basically, um, I bought the Assam Mine and the Payne's Creek Killings at the same time. I completed the Payne's Creek Killings because I loved it. It's really, really weird. It's quite low budget. It's a bit like, um, a spooky investigation game. Um, yeah. Assam Mine, which I need to play, and the Payne's Creek Killings. Stella, I think I mentioned Payne's Creek Killings to you, actually. Um, when I finished it. I really enjoyed it. I mentioned it because I was like, oh, I really liked that. Stella will like that. JB or hate it. <laughs> it. It's your and I kind of like slightly spooky and a bit over the top, I guess, in its, its cheesiness and with its dialogue. Ah, Observer is also a good game. Um, Observer, um, I haven't actually, I've nearly finished Observer. Is this the right way? Um, but then I stopped. I need to just, to be honest, I need to just reinstall it and start it from scratch again. Ah, uh, Daniel, do. It's very, very good. I like 76. I've taken a bit of a break, but that's mainly because I keep feeling obligated to play thanks to the season. Um, is the way here? Yes. Oh, you, you're literally going to not walk up that fucking mound. Thank you. Don't fall to your death. Don't fall to your death. What are we not going to do, guys? Let's fall to our death. Oh, incidentally, yeah, if you guys haven't played Observer, that is insanely good. Um, it's very, very trippy, though. Um, I think I played that when I was suffering from a bit of depression, which is probably not a good idea. Um, this is one of those games that I've deliberately uninstalled um, and then need to reinstall again. Yeah, I still, on principle, refuse to play Cyberpunk. I, I the thing is, it's a game I fully aware I'll probably enjoy, but just after the shit show that was the fans during the whole period of it, I'm like, nah, I'll go without. Oh, um, Grim, I actually not only have I played Subnautica, I did some videos on it, and I think I live streamed it. Oh, I did. I live streamed Beyond Zero and got lost because Beyond Zero is not as good. Um, or Below Zero, sorry, not Beyond Zero. Um, the first one's amazing. The second one isn't as good because it's not as scary and I got really lost and just had no idea where to go the story so I haven't actually finished it. Uh, the fans of Cyberpunk, they were twats. Um, <laughs> they were really obnoxious. The people who hyped up before it dropped. Oh, sorry, sorry I missed that. Uh, the Cthulhu game, is that um, The Sinking City? Because there's two. There, there's cool, the, I think there's a Call of Cthulhu game. And there's also The Sinking City. Which I liked The Sinking City. I think I made a video on it. Um, and apparently it was taken off the store. Because there were some weird things with the publisher. I play Sinking City if it drops. I really liked that. It's got the goofiest ass gameplay ever. Um, but it's quite true to the whole Cthulhu Misos. Really, Grim? Only 50... Oh, mate, I, I played it for about 60 hours before I finished it. Uh, but then that was a game I spent a lot of time base building and like, oh, I love it so much. Guys, I absolutely adore the sea. This is a little bit of a thing about me. Wait. Oh, I thought that was towers then. I thought it was a new area. Um, yeah, no. Subnaut is so good. It's not the second one is bad. I really like it. But... And I like the cat. I, I prefer the story of the second one quite a bit. But they've made it less scary. Um, or maybe I'm used to it. But I think it is just genuinely less scary. Um, and also, like, the story's more elusive. So if you forget an audio log, you can just get completely lost. I have no idea where to go. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've not been. Um, Z, I've not been on the Fallout subreddit in a long time. <laughs> but um, Cyberpunk specifically stood out to me. I think it's because they were, like, being really... Because, for example, we, and I think I've mentioned this before, Bethesda are a money-grubbing company, through and through. Everyone knows that. But they are very, 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 very good to their employees. Like, seriously, I, I know so many people who work from Bethesda and also just, you know, hearing about them. They're so nice to their employers. So I sort of, like, give them a little bit of a leeway because they're a shitty company when it comes to, you know, being greedy. But they treat their people good. Whereas Cyberpunk... <laughs> Are just cunts. Well, CD Projekt Red, rather. Um, are a bunch of dickheads. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's a rabbit. Okay. I swear this wasn't this far. Have I gone too far? 
Oh, no, 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 it's his way. We're actually nearly to the road now. Hey. I think. Wait, have I gone? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know where I am now. True, but like Bethesda, no, Bethesda are really good, even though they're money-grabbing shitheads. Um, let's be honest. Um, oh, some of them. The part, part of the company is. Um, they're actually really good to their stuff, whereas CD Projekt Red can fuck off. Um, to the point where I had to unfollow quite a few friends during that period. Well, people I'd, I'd acquaintances I'd met, um, because they just became the worst kind of like apologists for CD Projekt Red and everything they done, and it was just made me sick. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Witcher 3 is one of the best games I've ever played, ever. Just just so we're clear, right? Similar to the... Well, no, it's similar to the Hideo Kojima chat, right, that I had last stream. CD Projekt Red, absolutely incredible. Um, I said not CD Projekt no, the fuck them, they're cunts. Uh, Witcher, that's what I'm saying. Witcher 3 is absolutely incredible. Um, CD Projekt Red aren't actually that incredible. Um, but they're just such shitheads. Hey, we're nearly back. So Hideo Kojima's a twat, right? Because he's an arrogant ass. But he's actually... I heard no shitty rumours about him other than him fucking over David Hayter. Um, whereas Cindy Project Head are just... evil. Grim, to be honest, stretching it out is a good thing. I stretched The Witcher out for several years, and I played it over... Not... I think it was not the recent Christmas holidays, but the Christmas holidays before that, I think. Um, we're nearly back, by the way, guys. I'm very excited. We now just have to walk back to Mystery to the cabin. We're in my home turf now. Um, yeah, no, I um, tell it how it is. I always do, um, <laughs> unless I get names mixed up, which is what I did. Um, but like, yeah, no, The Witcher Three is fantastic. Um. I think the problem with CD Projekt Red, as as doing my tangents as I do, because it's gonna take very long, and plus this way I distract you from the fact that we're just watching me walk, um, ha 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 ha, um, is the cult following, which, because for example, um, Rockstar games are just as evil as CD Projekt Red, but I will probably play the next Red Dead and the next GTA when they drop, because at least, at least we don't pretend they're not shitheads. With CD Projekt Red, they had this, oh, we're an indie studio, and they were treated like this indie darling of the games in it. Oh, they're so, they're so good, they're so down to earth. It's like, no, they're, they're, they're Elon Musk. That, that's CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt, uh, except CD Projekt Red have made some good things. Elon Musk has never made anything good in his life. Um, but it's that kind of thing where it's just like, oh, you know, he's one of us. No, he's a shithead. Um... <laughs> Four days later. <laughs> um, yeah. Fuck CD Projekt Red. So this is why I've like on principle, I'm never gonna play Cyberpunk. Oh, if they do a Witcher game, I'll probably play it. Right? Provided the fans don't do the whole they're so perfect, which I think that meme has died now, which is good. God, the fucking fans. I won't name names, but there are some people that I follow on Twitter and on Facebook as well who were, until like a year ago, big Elon Musk fans. And like, they were still like, especially when he was launching the rockets, everyone was like, oh no, he's such a visionary. Thankfully, most of those people have just shut the fuck up. Um, they still talk, but they don't, they've quietly pretended they weren't fans of Elon Musk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of my mates who I lived with for a bit. Um, when Elon Musk and Grimes got together, he was like, oh my god, this is the most fascinating conjunction of two of the most interesting people alive. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he invented the tunnel. He invented a death trap, less efficient tube. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, Stella, right? Having an apartheid emerald mine is a very noble profession to make money. Um. Sorry, no, I don't want to run about Elon Musk, for fuck's sake. <laughs> sorry, one thing. He, he's apparently a Deus Ex fan, right? So Deus Ex um, is one of my favourite games ever. Absolutely love it. It's cheesy as hell, and in hindsight, it probably encouraged people to turn into conspiracy nuts. But still, it's fucking cool, right? Um... 
And he apparently really liked the series. And he was talking about, oh, yeah, you know. And, it, and everyone's like, you're Bob Page. You're literally Bob Page. And he was like, no, 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 I'm a billionaire. No, 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 you're literally Bob Page. You know the guy who tries to kill everyone? That That's you. <laughs> Literally, he's he's Bob Page, <laughs> and, and, and uh, it's it's honestly astounding that he was like tweeting about it from like the futurism perspective. And I was like, dude, <laughs> what's the villain from Superman? Um, I've forgotten his name now. Mind a blank. One of you will say it really quickly because I made sure a point of turning the chat on so it was much quicker. Um. Superman's nemesis, billionaire guy. Yeah, Lex Luthor. There we go, Lex Luthor. He's like Lex Luthor, except Lex Luthor is a genius and is very competent. He's like, imagine you take Lex Luthor and all of the talent and the genius and just leave with this billionaire narcissist. Look at Stella bringing out her credentials there for comic books. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, David, let me just name a few names off their son. I know everyone. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely thinks Fallout is anti-communism. Stella, you're such a more elite nerd than I am. Y you have the knowledge. Yeah, you have the actual knowledge. I don't. I'm a fucking poser. Right. Speaking of poser, there's a... Hey, don't apologise, Stella. You, 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 you helped me with information and you know way more shit than me. Another fucking... Oof. That's right, guys. I think because I've actually been away from this area for like two in-game weeks, I guess they thought I was gone. Oh, I should probably reload this, actually. Very, very quickly. And also not lose my shower cake scenes. I'm going to shoot you in the dick. I would use my bow, but I'm too heavy and I can't be arsed. Normally, I use my bow on the ones here. But it's been a long journey, and I can't be fucked. I thought that one was actually going to get me then. Normally I shoot them once or twice, that one was just not having it. Literally no respawns. <laughs> right, you can fuck off. Oh, actually, that's an absolute lie. Um, the wolves respawn annoyingly fast. Which sucks, but also makes sense, because otherwise... Because eventually you can eat the wolves. Oh, that is some... <sighs> yes, still, I'm well aware it's a joke. <laughs> I was also making a joke. Another one? Oh, okay, trying to see, sorry. Ah! Oh. Ah, he died before... He grabbed my leg and then died. You better not rip my clothes. I'll be so pissed off. Okay, I'm fine. That's alright, Stella. I forgive you. Oh, yeah, I just read Z's comment now. That's why. Didn't you retweet the Star Trek as too woke thing? No, I was dunking on them. Is that another wolf? Fuck it, is there four of them? I was dunking on Fox News. How dare you not get my inherent sarcasm, you bastard. Right, okay, I think we're good. This does make me realise I need to watch it. One second, actually. Um, where are they? Fucking... Ah! I think because I've been using a computer all day, um, my eyes... Eye drops. Ah, oh, sweet nectar of the god. Oh. Oh, don't cry, Davy. I'm so emotional. Ah. Oh, there we go, it's better. Well, Fox News is actually banned in the UK. They're not allowed to have a station. <laughs> Which I still find quite funny. Um. Now, listen here, Z, yeah? Um, obviously, non-political band Rage Against the Machine should not focus on politics, yeah, and focus on the music. Um, you know, just saying. Definitely non-political band Rage Against the Machine, um, whose name is Rage Against the Machine, should stop with that woke bullshit. 
Uh, why is the screen dark? How dark is the screen? Just curiously. Is it very dark? Or can you guys see a little bit of the menu? One sec. So, so you can see the world. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna switch over so I can see. Because base, my other monitor's a bit dark. Um, oh yeah, okay. So yeah, it's night time in game. Sorry. Um, my other monitor is a little bit darker, so I can't see very well. Um, but yeah, it, it'll be a. Uh... Okay, good, 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 good. Annoyingly, I can't actually turn the in-game brightness up, which is very frustrating. I'll check. I don't think I can. Yeah, guys, we'll see. No, yeah. Annoyingly, there's no brightness controls. So unless I, like, go into OBS and, like, put a filter on the game, um, it's part, it's a, yeah, I, basically, I was noticing that, because I usually have it so I can see the monitor in my corner. Um, it's fine. We'll be finished with the night in a sec. You know, actually, one sec, one sec, one sec, because it might actually be a little bit too dark anyway. If I just... Um, where is it? Um, key, no. Yeah, if I just turn the brightness up a bit... There we go. I've just smidgened the brightness up a little bit with a filter in... Um, in OBS, that might make it a little bit more visible. It might just be my monitor, to be honest. I'm um, like, which is why I can't see. It. It's really annoying. <laughs> I love how I had the comments hidden while I was doing that. Um, there we go. See, I can see a little bit better now. There we go. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, cool. Because it was, um, I think maybe. My my monitor I have here um, might be a little bit brighter than the actual game is, if you get my point. Which is why I don't notice, but I can't turn the actual game game brightness up. Oh, a deer. Deer, if you're still there, I'm going to kill you in the morning. I could use my fluff. Are you... <laughs> use your flashlight. I just caught that. I was just like, um... What, right now? That's for the OnlyFans. Um, look, it's home, everyone. It's home. We made it, and we didn't freeze death, and we didn't collapse, and we only slightly got attacked by one wolf, but we didn't rip anything. I'm so excited. Also, I've got a big bear pelt, which I've been, um, like, tanning. Um, oh, I did not read that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I should might be able to make one of the bear outfits. I don't know if I want to make the bear cloak though, because it's quite heavy. But I might make their sleeping bag. Yes, uh, I've got a bear pelt anyway. Anyway, let's um, dump all of my shit off. That wasn't too bad a walk. It's only been an entire hour stream of me walking. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we can play the game now. <laughs> right. Okay. Um. This is precisely why I need to play some more action -y games. Look! Guts! So many guts. Actually, that was not even half my guts. I have so many guts. A load of dead deer pelts. All my supplies. Oh, look at that. There's me bear pelt. Probably already cured now. Oh, you absolutely love to see it. There's my gun. There's a load of water, which I deliberately kept here. So I would have um, stuff to drink when I got back. Right, let's sleep into the morning now. Um, I don't have much food left. But I can eat these. I might drink a few of... Uh... We'll have to eat the dog food. I'm so sorry. The banana video. What are you? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> right. Okay. Hopefully it's morning and we get to have the light. 
that we can kill a rabbit just for Z. No, actually, Stella, I haven't watched any of Eurovision. Um, I'm really sorry. I failed you. Um, I just can't be asked. Um, I'll watch it at some point. I'm just not in the mood. I think I missed the hype and everyone was like, eh, and I was like, I can't be bothered. I'm a very boring creature. You, you are aware of this, I'm sure. Right, okay. So I have all of the shit now. Right, let's drop all of the stuff. Put me cooking pots there. I love when you get your little supply route together. I've got a little bit of dog food if I want that. Nom, nom, nom. Let's put my stuff in there. I might make some arrows, so I'm going to leave that. Uh -huh. I've got two crowbars, because apparently I need loads of crowbars. Um, I'll put the extra revolve. Get my revolver. It'll look cool here. There we go. Look how cool that looks there. No crowbars. Look, that weight's already doing good now. I don't need two of you. You can go there. See, do I need to put stuff on the tables? No. Does it look cool? Yes. And that is the most important thing. Load of tools. Look at all my stuff. Behold my stuff. Um, I'm going to put those in the thing. Okie dokie. No, wrong one. Okay, I've also got all of these. Oh, that one's fully filled up. That one's fine? Yeah, that one's fine. Okay. Um, I put some guns. Uh, you. Oh, no, I want that one. You can fuck off. You can fuck off. Um, don't need you. Okay, I've got so many meds. I might have to put my locker downstairs. Uh, okay. Yeah, I haven't literally not watched any of the entries. See, I, I watched it last year, and Ukraine's was really good. Um, Goa was so good. Um, but I haven't actually watched, like, any of the this year's stuff. Well, that's apparently filled up for them. Oh, yeah, I put my meds in here, didn't I? This is my second med cabinet. I hope you guys like painkillers, because I have so many pills. Okay, and this was where my clothes went. I think I left them back. Okie dokie. I've got a lot of food, I think, to be honest. Um, okay, cool. Alright, I think most of it's just food now. Okie dokie doke. Okie dokie doke. Okie dokie doke. Let's bring I'm you. I'm not sure I can carry much oh, more. Down. We're gonna go hunt some deer because my man's is hungry. Hasn't eaten. Hasn't eaten some good venison in at least a week. I'm using a gun as well just because I've got a million and one bullets and I need to use them. Where's my sticks gone? Oh, that's another. But I probably can make a second that bow now. Heavy. That is five bows right there. That'll last me for ages. Okie dokie. Right, okay, let's go get my gun. Oh, I'm going to drop a load of my food off, actually. I'm carrying so much shit. I don't need even a fraction of it on me um, all the time. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Where can I place my food down so it looks hashtag aesthetic? Um, I put it in the corner over there. What's that, David? Why are you putting your food on the floor? Well, because it looks cool, kids and kiddos. Um, I am going to carry the coffee, though, because um, it's really light. Look at all these cans of food. 
Nom, nom, nom. Actually, let's put it on that table there. Actually, no, let's leave it over here. Boom. See, how am I going to make a nice little screenshot for Reddit on all of my food if I don't spend ages arranging it? Get in there, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I do wish, and I think I think there's a mod for it, like an unofficial one, um, that allows you to basically like decorate the inside of your homes a little bit, which I kind of feel as if they've missed a trick with this a little bit. Like, you can place stuff down like this, which is to be honest, adequate, but it would be nice to be able to stack stuff or things like that. Welcome to my stream, where we uh, stack cans of dog food and dusty tomato soup. I uh, hope you enjoy it. It's really good. Apparently I can't place things now. Oh, because my bow's on the floor, that's why. Yeah, fucking big prick. I thought that was a piece of scenery then. I was very confused. Always decor for the win. Always. Shut the fuck up. But yeah, and I do wish they let us kind of decorate things. Like if there was a, if there was a way to, you know how they populate bookshelves in Fallout? Yeah, kind of if you did be able to do something like that, that would be really handy. Because it would look quite cool to have like, it does, I mean it does look quite cool to have stockpiles of stuff. It's just quite satisfying to look at. It's quite reassuring. It's uh, Yes, I can survive here for a while. Um, okie dokie. Right, let's go kill something. Come here, you. Hello, gorgeous. Missed you. Eh, you're not that too heavy, fam. You're alright. I'm gonna eat one thing while I'm here, actually, because I might be a little bit... Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it occurs to me. None, none of the Americans are familiar with the uh, Eurovision chat there, Stella. Um, <laughs> oh, my legs. Ouch. Right, let's be sneaky and do the whole quick save thing in case I get stuck outside. Right, okay. Boom. Right, is that deer still here? You're gonna give Davy some nibbles? Educate away, Stella. Educate away. Right, okay. Is that deer already? I bet it's already left, doesn't it? Oh no, it's literally right in front of my face. Can I crouch? Oh! Ho, ho! Master hunter right there. Masterful. Ah, uh, no, Grim. It's it's not like American Idol. Um, it's a specifically where countries will actually compete. So you'll have, like, um, the entry from Germany will compete. And the entry from um, France will compete. And then the countries themselves will get will, um, votes. I mean, I might as well take that thing. I don't really need it. I can always get more hide, I guess. Hello, Jennifer. Right, we've got a load of meat. Do you like some venison? Never tried it. Vegetarian now, so never will. But, you know, I'm sure it tastes lovely. Right, okay. Do you want to see how cool my map is? Check out how organized... Look at that. Look at all that surveying I've done. Off. Oh, masterful. Loves it. Yeah, it, it is very cheesy, um, but it can be quite fun. Some of the songs can really slap as well. Hey, Eric, and absolutely it is. You joined actually right time because you just missed my incredibly long walk all the way from Desolation Point, which took fucking ages. Um, so, well-timed. Last year's Ukraine entry, Goa, are such a good band, though. So fucking good.
There was one time uh, a girl from Germany won, and I thought she was quite cute, but my girlfriend at the time really didn't like her. Um, so obviously she was shit. Um, but the way she would sing, she would say like the song had the word love in it, but she'd say it in a really strong accent, and my girlfriend at the time just couldn't stop giggling. She was like, she was like, love, and I'm like, but it would almost be like a kind of like, you're right, love, kind of way. Um, I thought she had a cute voice, but my girlfriend at the time found her very funny and didn't like her song. I thought her song was pretty good. Um, but Goa last year with Ukraine were fucking insane. Tunes, exactly that. We don't do any T's in this house. C-H all the way. Girlfriends, eh? Ugh. I wouldn't know. It's been a while. Well, I'm going to move these downstairs before I cook. Oh, guys, do you want to see my, um, my, my storage container full of Animal bits. It's very lovely. You'll love it. You'll love it. Just you wait. Just you wait. Check this out. Big pile of rocks. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, you little fucker. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> ah, little shit. Ah, oh, the little fucker. Oh, I'm fine. He didn't better not have broken anything. If he's broken anything, I'll be so pissed off. I'm fine. I'm just a bit bloody. Little fucking house. <laughs> Literally, right as I fucking left the thing. Jackass. Alright, he's probably... Yeah, he's gonna bleed out because I shanked him up. Anyway. I'm gonna open my corpse thing. Do you know why he hates it? Because it's full of dead fucking bodies, isn't it? Look at this. There are seven wolves in there. Oh, that one's not even cured. Um, Six rabbits. Five deer. No, there's a bear, another wolf, loads of guts. Another one? Why? They're never normally this close. It's actually really weird. Oh, my flatmate is cooking something really nice, man. Mm. Right, let's cook some food, eh? See, I know you mean, like, is that Graham, as in Graham Norton? Um, but I just immediately read that as Graham, and I was like, oh, I thought Meat Week was cancelled. Um, the way it is. Oh, I'll take that charcoal off you. Give me that charcoal. Thank you. Oh, God, there's 12 charcoal in there. Um, okie dokie. My character's so good at making fires now, I don't need Tinder. The, the app or the stuff to start fires. He just shags the moose. I'm going to get you, moose. Right, now I need to remember how to get to Pleasant Valley, so I might have to alt-tab my screen in a bit. Turned out pretty well. Because we're actually basically pretty good. I don't need to hang around here so long. Right, let's have... um, Let's have some gamey venison. Mmm, gamey venison. Mmm, let's also read this one. Make my cooking a bit better. Because I'm nearly up to level 3 of cooking. Mmm. Gamey venison. I'm not going to cook that one. Eat that one. I will cook this one now. Nom, 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 nom. I love the venison. Because I love my lockers full of meat. It just, it just makes me giggle so much that I have a locker full of meat. Um. I don't need to boil anything, so I'll just leave it. I'll just read a book while waiting. Go on. Oh, I might actually level up in my cooking. And I might be cooking level four, actually. You know what? I might even actually just level that up. What's my cooking? My cooking is... Oh, my God. I'm about to hit level four. Which means, I think, when I hit level four, I can actually eat wolves without having to worry about parasites. Which means... <laughs> The wolf apocalypse might about to begin, and I won't have to kill any deers anymore. Oh, shit. Ah, you'll be a bit thirsty. It's fine. Oh, fuck's sake. Fine. Fine, you jackass. Oh, my flatmate's cooking something really nice. I can't get this close towards bed, though. It smells really good. If I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. You'll be fine. Level four. Oh, I got a badge! Damn it, I can't use the badge. I'm not restarting again. 
Can you can you enable badges? Ah, <laughs> wait, can I? See, here's a here's a, an irritating thing. So when you unlock a badge, you can't actually use it until you start a new game. Fucking hinterland studios, you assholes. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to probably do then, because we've now got a load of food already, um, I am going to go to Pleasant Valley literally the following morning. We will go straight off. We won't hang around here. We've already killed a deer. We've got enough food now. I want to take around under 50 cal kilograms with me. I don't want to take very much. We'll just take what we need. Because we're going to go to Pleasant Valley. And I'm going to pick up so much shit while I'm there. So I don't need to bring as much as I normally would. And I have to now wait a bit. So let's um, clean that wall in. It's nearly morning. Sort of. It's quite annoying that sometimes certain tasks can't be done at night. So you have to sort of... Oh, good lord, that needs a clean. You have to basically, when you wake up in the morning, you have to kind of find shit for your character to do. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting time. And you don't want to waste time. That's very bad. Which I find cleaning my guns in the morning. In the dark. Which just... I can just picture this guy just sitting on his bed, just quietly cleaning his guns. Freaking out because he hasn't met another person in... A decade or something. How long have I got? It's nearly morning. I'm still carrying that shitty wolf power. Fuck off. Fine. Well, let's go make some arrows. Come here, you. So much fuel. Right. Oh, whatever. My, my flatmate smells like he's cooking a roast. God damn it. That smells so good. Fuck's sake. I need to find food. Right, we're going to pop this, because I've got so much gas, it's fine. Um, oh, I've got two knives with me, apparently. Oh, I, oh, that's weird. Oh, are you hungry? I didn't realise you were hungry. Cheeky bit of finishing. Yeah, I know. The t I, it's cool gassed, because... He's using gas, right? Yeah? Whatever. Shut up. Shut up! We don't actually use the word gas in the UK. I'm just using whatever vernacular they're using. You prick! Fuck's sake. Don't come at me. <laughs> With my ever American vernacular that I've picked up and I can't help it. You monster. Oh, fuck's sake. He's thirsty again. This man gets so thirsty. I do not drink this much water. I don't think there's petrol in the lantern, though. Lantern oil, I guess. Oh, it's ran out already. Lol. I should have turned it off. Right, Stella, listen. Listen, you. Listen. Less, less, less of your cheek. <laughs> Don't come at me, yeah? Right, um... How many arrows do I have? I'm gonna break... I'm gonna harvest all my broken ones. Right, so we're going to go to Pleasant Valley. I'm going to take the rifle with me, because I'm going to be there for a long time. Um, I have to be quite pragmatic. So I've got two crappy broken bows and six arrows as of now. I think I want to maybe make another bow and also another arrow. Yeah, all right, okay. I even won't go yet. Man drinks so much water though. Like, I do not get this thirsty, and I drink a lot as well. Oh, fuck off. Don't pick up your first one. It's weird it keeps asking me to use the knife for the hatchet that I don't even have on me. Bit weird, not gonna lie. <coughs> this should be about ten arrows, which should last me until the cows come home. I wish I had your accent. Then I'd take that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? 
I'll allow it. Um, right. <laughs> oh, I'm an expert archer as well. Perfect. Um, right. Let's drink that. Oh, I love my little setup of shit. It's so satisfying. <laughs> I always take the compliment, but I always question it. Um, right, I know what I'm doing. So I, I've got like two bows and I just might make... Is that is that a Southern American accent? Because that's a good accent. There's a girl on TikTok who has a really strong Southern like Appalachian, is it um, Kentucky accent? And I'm, I'm gonna marry her. Um, just, just putting out there. Um, because I love the accent. I notice Americans think everyone hates their accents. We hate some of them. But the southern accents actually we quite like. Um, I think I need some cured gut. I think my, oh no, my old, one of my old flatmates from North Carolina. To be fair, I think the Carolina accent, to be fair, like, well, the North one, does sound like a very, it's a very American accent, if you get my point. Um, can I use the tools on this? All right, we'll use my improvised knife. I'll do two hours. Can I do this before? Oh, I've got cabin fever. Oh, fuck off. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. You spent too much time indoors. Mate, I've spent too much time indoors. Suck my dick. All right, fine. We'll have a nap outside. Look at this. Oh, is it? See, I'm not familiar. I, I like the Kentucky accent. I, I like that very strong southern accent. Um, women especially. Um, that, that's cute. Sorry, blokes. You sound like dickheads. Women sound very cute. Um, and there was also, and I'm well aware that she was putting her accent on, but there was a girl who did, who went really famous, who did like a strong New Jersey accent. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? Evidently, the wolf doesn't like New Jersey girl accents. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh, there you are, you little fucking piece of shit. Yeah! Die, you little cock. Fucking asshole. They're never outside here! Right, I'm gonna have a nap outside, because my man's has apparently got a bit of cabin fever. Not you, then. Also, who gets cabin fever from spending the... Or he basically spent the morning inside for a bit. Like, that was it. And he's got, oh, no, I've got cabin fever. Fuck off, jackass. Cabin fever. I have not left the flat. Actually, no, I briefly went outside to Sainsbury's. That's about the longest I've left the flat today. What a prick. I don't freeze to death. I shouldn't. Have you heard from your cabin fever now? Oh, good. Fucking prick. Yeah, but this isn't. This 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 is this is definitely same time as the internet. <laughs> Man should not be getting cabin fever. <laughs> there are computers downstairs. He was just making a load of arrows. It's like, no, you've got cabin fever. Jackasses. Right, anyway. Let's have a nap. Right, it, it should be, um... Right, okay, yeah, cool. So I should be good to go. I should be able to finish that bow off, cook a load of meat, and then we can just fuck off to Pleasant Valley. Where's the bird going? There it is. Masterful. What a bell end. Honestly. This is the guy, though, who can't carry much weight around. Wuss. I could carry more weight than that, mate, to be honest. Right, while we're waiting, then, I'll cook the food. Um, I probably actually might want to... Oh, I can refill my lantern from here, can't I? Ooh. Did I leave my lantern downstairs? I left my lantern downstairs. Okay, good work, David. 
It's fine, you do have like a million matches, but still. Come on, you're gonna like your matches? No, no, you're not gonna like your matches. You're staring at the floor. Very good, very good. Very good, very good, very good. No, oh, what are you doing? Where's my other gun? Lovely jubbly. Right, okay. So we want to get... We've got a couple of hours in the morning. It gives me time to cook a load of meat um, for the journey. I'm going to cook all the meat. I'm going to fucking cook all of it. We can carry that meat. We can level up what we're going to take with us to Pleasant Valley because we'll be there a while. Um, but I'll leave most of my shit here. Which I like because I like. I like the idea that I can come back to all this food. Um... This pack is getting too heavy to carry. You're getting too heavy to carry. Right, um... Cool. Look at that, I don't have to worry about him screwing up making fires now. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I take a pot. Oh, actually, do I need to take a pot with me? They're quite heavy. I won't take a pot with me. I was gonna take a... I was gonna get one of those big saucepans because it's good for boiling water. However, they're quite heavy and I can just use cans. It's easier. You can just do more of it, that's all. Right, okay. Add fuel. We're gonna cook a load of meat. A bit of mouldy venison. Mmm, mouldy venison. It's just the way I like it. I'm gonna read about sewing while cooking my mouldy venison. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, I'm an expert in cook. How good's my cooking? Can I eat wolves now? Ah! I have to level five before I can eat wolves. Fucking assholes. Fine. Fine. Although my character's really skilled in, like, most stuff. Well, revolve. You can tell I shoot shit a lot. And I start fires, and I shoot stuff with arrows. I'm basically a monster. Um... But when I hit level 5 cooking, um, so the way this game works, you can't eat predator meat. Because you'll, um, you'll get worms. Um, which is annoying. But if you hit level 5, you can eat predator meat. So that's very exciting. Because then I just won't have to kill any deers, I'll just murder wolves. Because I'll be constantly getting fights with them anyway. I think there's more. Oh, one more. Okie doke. Um, right, well, that's cooking. Let's drop my shit. Oh, I need to finish making me thing, don't I? Oh, fuck it. I'll read a book one more time. I need to finish making that bow as well. Cool. Right, um, how much time I got that? 46 minutes. See, what you do is you be very clever. Because I know I've got a bit of time. 24 minutes. 24 minutes. And then we shove one piece of reclaimed wood in there. And that should... That should perfectly melt and boil, but not also boil it away. Clever boy. Extremely clever... Well, sort of. Kind of. Cool. Bosh! Right, let's finish this bow, and then I'm just going to fuck off. Um... Back off to Pleasant Valley, which means going back via the dam, and I think it's the area at the back, but I'm not entirely sure, because it's been a while. Why do you not go f default to an hour? Jackasses. Let's do two hours, because I think it might... Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Oh, fuck you with your cabin. I've got cabin fever. He's literally just spent the morning. What an absolute fucktard, honestly. I've got cabin fever. Well, it's all right, because we'll be sleeping outside, you jackass. I don't want to do it. Fuck off. Right, anyway. Um, 
Let's put a wolf pelt over here. Keep it next to the bed. All right. Okay. 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 So I'll refill my lantern before we go. That is not refueling my lantern. Refuel. And I'm gonna drop that. And that one. That one. It's the mental top. Well, actually, I didn't even kill the bunny. I left. The I killed the bunny, then forgot to eat it and wasted its meat. That was actually how bad it was. That that was what I actually did. Um, <laughs> that little fuckers and most of them, to be fair, keep dying in vain. Um, I didn't even skin it. I just. I think I just shoved it in my meat locker. Um. <coughs> right. Let's take two of those. Don't need two of those. Don't need any of those. I'll take all the spray paint. Don't need you. Absolutely don't. I'm going to have to put some shit in the drawer, aren't I? <laughs> Character feels guilt. I guess, maybe. I certainly don't. Um, I've obviously got a lot of meat on me. Got a lot of meat on me. Because I'm fat. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I've now got a load of arrows. I can, I can carry loads more shit. I'm gonna leave that there. Actually, that's really bothering me. Let me just arrange it so it's not wonky looking. Do you guys want some tools? Um, I got you back, yeah? <laughs> I refuse to throw away any cans, so that is all, this is all the beans I've eaten. That's a, that's a lot of fibre right there. That is a lot of fibre. I'll leave those bows here because I'm going to destroy them. Okie dokie. I'm going to take some charcoal. Yeah, no, actually, I thought my character would need to carry loads more shit than they do, but they don't. Take it. Drink it. Um. Yeah, which is good because you always won't be very heavy. Um. I've got, um, I'll bring a couple of books so I can use them for fires. I've got a fire striker, have I? Yeah. I'm going to take this stuff, because I think I can use it for, I think it's around here where I can actually go, um, uh, what do we call it? Um, I can make gunpowder nearby, so I'm actually going to take this as well, because I have a big shitload of gunpowder. Um, how many hours do you have on this playthrough? Does it say somewhere? Um. I don't think it says here. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is it? I don't think it's game. It doesn't. It only says game. It doesn't say real time, which is annoying. <coughs> I don't know, basically. Quite a lot, I think. I could check if I quit, but then I'd have to redo a lot of shit. Um, quite a bit, though. Okay, let's check my tools. Don't forget anything. Got a knife. Got a thing. Got my revolver. Got ammo. Got all my ammo. I haven't... Have I got my rifle still? Did I put my rifle? Yeah, got my rifle. So I think I'm good. Sick. Yeah, so, um... Uh, so the funny thing is, right, is this playthrough, I could probably check. It's probably around 20-ish hours, I would imagine. Um, overall, I've played 200 hours technically. And I say it technically because I think I've played more than that. Um, it's just... I swear I need to bring more stuff. I'm really worried I've forgotten something. Oh, he's got cabra in front of him. Um, I say technically because I've actually been playing this since early access, and I'm pretty sure when it left early access, it reset my playtime. Um, I take one of those with me. Have I got a thingy with me? A crowbar, yeah. I'll take that. I feel like I'm on that for things. I feel like I'm missing something, but fuck it, we'll just fuck off, I guess. I'm taking my coffee. I do, I do want to... I'm not... I'm going to take a big mage... I'll take a bit of food, actually. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'll be fine. 
I've got f he's got food. He'll pick up food on the way there. It's fine. Um. Okay. Let's go. Have I got my thing? This is the most important thing. Do not ever forget it. Cool. All right. We're off to see the wizard. So I think. I think we go for Pleasant Valley via, we go through the dam, I think. If not, we're going to go the wrong area. We might end up in the mountain town. We'll find out, I guess. But basically, yeah, I, th I think it's via Pleasant, I think it's via the thing. Because you used to have to go via the coastal cottage. Um, coastal, why is it coastal cottage? That's Fallout 4, David. The coastal highway where we were. But I think you can go through the dam. Either if not, I think you can... If it's not through the dam, it'll connect to an area that connects to Pleasant Valley. Because I know it's, there'll be like a transitional area. And I think it's Pleasant Valley. I might be wrong. I also know for a fact that you can't... Um, you can't... Uh, you can't come back that way. So I'm going to have to loop all the way around. So I've got my guns. I'm armed to the teeth. We're going to be using the bow a lot more now. But speaking of, I'm just going to reload my guns. I've missed... I'm going to forget something essential. But hopefully I'll get a load of shit while I'm there. Oh, I love this thing. Oh. That moose satchel is so handy. Because it means I can carry so much stuff. Oh no, I've got cabin fever. Which means my character has to sleep outside. Otherwise they're going to get stressed. Fuck's sake, mate. Cabin fever. I was in... We, we just came out from COVID lockdown and this loser has cabin fever. Fuck off. Oh no, I made a bow for six hours. Ah, oh, need to leave the house or I'm going to get sick. Fuck off. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> right, anyway. um, You know, I'm going to sprint this bit because we're going to have to nap anyway. And I've got a badge which reduces the number of... Oh, for fuck's sake. But I'm using bone stone. Because... Oh, there are two of the little shits. Three of the little shits. You broke one of them fucking arrows, you little fuck. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I am the murder machine. <laughs> Where's my other arrow? Going? Fucking, you want some too, do you, son? I will fuck you up, fam. <laughs> right, I need to get my arrows back now. Where's my arrows, little fuck? Oh, you just have to interact with the thing. Okay, cool. I am the fucking wild man. Yeah, did you see that? Did you see that slaughter? <laughs> that was a family right there. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that actually. <laughs> oh no, your loved ones. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, the reload animations are pretty cool. Um, it, it's it's quite clunky. Um, also, I like with the um, the rifle, if you reload five rounds, it'll put an entire clip in. Um, but if you reload, like, less than five rounds, it'll do it individually. It's quite well done. Did you like that, Stella? Did you like my murder? Little fuckers. I'm actually quite good with the bow. Also, my character just went up to expert, so I actually don't know what skill points I have. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, my critical hit damage is 25%. So, th they did not stand a chance. Fuck them up. The slight issue with the way the skills work on this game, it's very good, but then you start a new game and your character's a little bit shit. Um, so you're used to your character being like level five archery and suddenly you're level one and you're shit. I'm quite good with the bow. Um, I've learned with the bow because the wolves tend to move around a little bit. So you need to kind of back off to them a little bit. It takes a little bit of practice. And also, you don't want your character to be cold, because if your character's cold, your hands to shake, and you just, you're just going to miss. Oh, 
a wise way to go, Stella. So people always ask me, because I'm vegetarian, and they're like, oh, you know, you know, if it was a life or death situation, would you not eat meat? And I'm like, no, of course I'd eat the fucking meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd eat you, you twats. <laughs> but I don't need to eat meat, so it's fine. But I would. I'd eat all the years. It is, it is the British rifle. Um, yeah, but the thing is, the I, I want to save my bullets because they're really rare. Whereas the arrows I can sort of make myself. Um, so forgive me. But no, you're wrong. And I will not. None of that in this house. Although, how did my condition go down? Did it go down very much? I shot three arrows. Okay, so it goes down 1% each time. So basically, this bow should last me a long time. Exactly that, Stella. It's funny, like, anytime sometimes... Because some people get really weirded out, like, but, you know, a lot of people just can't get their head around the fact you don't eat meat. I'm like, I just don't want to kill animals. They're cute. I like, I like, I like animals. They're cute. Um, and some people, like, try and do... No, but you're an... You're, you're a... <laughs> you're a superior predator. You know, you're top of the food chain. I'm like, all right, go hunt your fucking food then, you prick. And when I say hunt, I don't mean use a gun. Use your bare hands and tell me if you have food. I'm going to go buy some... Buy some... Buy some... Potatoes. <laughs> That's fair, Grim. That is completely fair. I must admit, like, and I mention this a lot, fish is the thing I miss a lot. And the thing is, uh, like, I've wanted to maybe try fishing, because apparently you can do it ethically if you send them back, but I can't really still justify it. So I will live vicariously through you. Um... At some point, I want to stream Monster Hunter World just so I can show you guys the cooking animations. Because if I've ever wanted to break my vegetarianism, it's when I play that fucking game. God damn it. <laughs> guys, if you're on Google board, just Google... Google Monster Hunter World cooking animations and just watch the... Like, cooking, and just watch the, the YouTube videos of the cooking videos. Oh, my fucking God. The fish one. The fishing. Ah, oh, fuck off, Grim. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> I fish is the thing I miss so much. Um, it is. Oh, there's another fucking wolf. But yeah, no, the fish is the thing I miss God so much. <laughs> Fucked you up. Um. Yeah, like, the basically, that's it. To be honest, yeah, it would be less so... I mean, to be fair with me, it's I, I just felt guilty. A whole, a whole little moral, spiritual thing with killing animals. Um, It's a whole thing for me. But yeah, also, like, the, the industry is pretty shit. But, like, as, as Grimm, you know, they hunt and catch their own food. That's fine, to be honest. Um... Yeah, see, I don't... See... Chicken is one of those things, and it's one of those things, unless you eat a lot of fake meat, you won't believe me. Um, I think Stella does, so it's fine. But, like, chicken is one of those things that a lot of people say they'll miss, but it's actually the easiest thing that they've done. Chicken and, like, sausages, um, they've completely, like, there's, there's, there's loads of fake chicken. Like, corn is one of the better ones, but there's actually still better than corn. Um, fucking fish, man. I've mentioned this before, but, like, my go-to date place was Belgian restaurants. Whenever I get a date with a lady, I take them to a Belgian restaurant and have, like, mussels. Fucking hell. And I know mussels are sort of not sentient, but I can't do it. I'm an all-or-nothing kind of guy, you know what I mean? But can one of you guys buy some mussels and eat them so I can, you know, just pretend that I'm you? <laughs> That's completely fair, Grim. And as I said, it, with me, it's a very personal thing. I, I use the example of how I used to smoke cigarettes. So I used to be a full-on chain smoker, right? And I loved smoking. But I quit smoking. And I, I went, you know, and I will never smoke again in my life. But I have absolutely no qualms with people smoking around me. To the point where I, you know, I enjoy rolling my friend's cigarettes because I'm still amazing at it. I roll literally the perfect rollies ever. And similar with me. Um, I wouldn't kill anything myself. Unless it was an apocalypse situation, then yeah, or a video game. <laughs> when it's a video game, I will murder everything and their fucking children to boot. Um, but IRL, I'm, I'm a simple soul. <laughs> I 
It did make me a lot less cool though. Um, you joke, but no, I was pretty cool when I smoked. My problem with when I smoked is one, obviously I was really skinny, um, which I've actually nearly got that skinniness now, but that has involved lots of annoying amounts of discipline. Um, but also I, I was so good at rolling cigarettes. <laughs> And also, with the smoking ban in London, it was the best way to meet women. Um... <laughs> Seriously, like, in London- Because basically, like, in London, we used to- we, um, I'm in the UK, we used to- We used to be able to smoke indoors. Um, and in the last- I think it was around... 12 years now? I think it was about 2008-ish. So 14- so I think 2009, it was around that time they- they banned smoking inside. And then, and it was like, oh, and that was just before I started smoking. But I, I did casually a little bit, you know, smoking with mates and everything. And then when I properly became a smoker, and then I went out to pubs, and I realised, holy shit, this is actually the best way to talk to people ever. Yeah, and uh, basically, um, I'm going to call you death, because I can't see, um, a a phobie death. I'm gonna call you death. Or you death. Um, uh, just I can't read your name because I'm blind as shit and the monitor's too far away. And you've got an annoyingly to pronounce one. But yeah, no, that's sort of, you know, my stance. Oh, ultimately everyone really should be vegetarian, but I'm not gonna judge you. Because to be honest, like, your individual choices won't really affect things. It's, we'd need to, like, change the entire- UFO! There we go! Stella's out there! I'm gonna call you UFO just because it's easier. It's the first three letters. Um, Thank you. Also, because calling you death would be a bit dark. Um, is, have I just walked by where I need to be? No, it's up there. Um, but yeah, 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 like, that that's the sort of thing. Like, I think everyone should stop eating meat, but more because of more systematic changes. Uh, is this... Oh, wait, where's the way out? Oh, fuck, I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, that's it, I've gone the wrong way. I am become death. Well, sorry, but Stella's already called you UFO. <laughs> Stella, I eat a lot of noodles as well. I think I mentioned this before. I have to be really careful when I go to Asian restaurants, though. Um, because, um, annoyingly, basically, East Asia is one of the best places for food ever. But they don't consider a lot of things vegetarian. No, meat, even though they are meat. So, for example, like, a lot of your... And I've actually accidentally done this. So, one of my favourite places I used to eat at, I can't eat anymore, because I thought it was vegetarian, it wasn't. Um, which is bone broth. They put a lot of bone broth in their ramen. Um, which is annoying. Oh, sorry, I got in to find the exit. I can't remember where it is. Oh, wait, it's here. There's, there's an extra door at the side. So, they put a lot of bone broth, which is an absolute bull lake. Where's the fucking door, fam? There's the fucking door, fam. I'm gonna rest up there before we go inside. Oh wait, you still got cabin fever. Oh yeah, I'll rest up for you then. So yeah, they put a lot of bone broth, which is a bit of a bull lake. Um, and also they put fish in things all the time. So I can't come out that way. It's really funny. I have to like climb over the side. Um, yeah, I think you have to climb over there to get back in. But it's fine. We've already emotionally committed to going this way now. I'm gonna sleep for a couple of hours though, because it's fairly like safe. Something is sapping my energy. Yeah, mate, it's called cool being really tired. I'm not very good at making noodles, to be honest. Like, um, because again, where I live in London, I'm quite blessed with the fact that there's loads of nice places to eat, basically. So often I'll just, you know, I can cook fairly well. Um, now, especially poached eggs. Master at poached eggs. Stella helped me a little bit, but I then mastered the whole process. Um, and. <laughs> Um, but, like, a lot of Asian food, I'm just, like, really bad at making. Or I've not really practiced enough, because a lot of it takes a lot of skill. Um, and I'm like, I could do it, or I could, you know, have someone else do it. Would you rather eat steak or do a 24-hour stream? I'd probably do the 24-hour stream, um, to be honest. Um, I'm also gonna have to rest up, because it's now really blizzardy, so I guess we're sleeping here. Can I get somewhere that's at least out of the wind? Um... Oh, Stella, you, because I keep going by one of the places that sell it, but it's always got a massive queue, um, and I'm too lazy. Is here going to block the wind? It's not actually cold, but I don't want to risk. I can find somewhere that's they need. 
Ah, here we go. Here we go. Perfect, I imagine. Nope. Oh, can I sleep in one of the pipes? I bet I can sleep on the pipes. <sighs> one day I'll do one, possibly, maybe not. Can I get in that pipe? Ah, oh, listen, the pipe fam. Yeah! I'm asleep in here. Living my hobo dreams of sleeping in a pipe. Ah, oh, what? Ah, I could totally fit a sleeping bag in here. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm at. My day is ruined. I'm also stuck in the pipe. One sec, I better not be stuck in the pipe. Well, I can just reload if I'm stuck in the pipe. Just get a lot of G fuel. <laughs> Fucking G fuel. <laughs> right, I think I can actually rest here. It's out the wind. It's fine. I'm still annoyed I couldn't sleep in the pipe. That would have been a perfect place to sleep. The most Tory hobo. How fucking dare you? Um. <laughs> I ain't no fucking Tory. <laughs> Take that back. Right, hopefully I don't freeze to death. Yay! Still a bit dark though. So I should probably... Right, okay. Um, yeah, sadly it's too narrow. It would have been a I'd say it's stupid because I feel as if that would have been a perfect place for him to sleep. Right, okay, yeah, look at that. And it's a nice... Oh, it's cold! Hmm. Okay, um, how much? I don't have any wood. Um, I can chop down some things. I'm worried I might... You know what, I'm going to risk it. I'd rather chop down some stuff and set a fire. And then wait for the heat to go back. The... What the fuck is... Why did I make anything here? Oh, it's still windy. Must not be anything around here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Tories abandoned chat. Yeah, see, the, the the Tories are our conservative party. Bunch of bellends is all you need to know. Right, please don't wind up. Oh no, it did it! It did it. Which is the fucking wind changed? You fucking asshole. So annoying. Fuck's sake. Ah! Uh. Ah oh, no, labour. <laughs> um, Z, we have um, we are blessed. Blessed with an incredibly uh, undemocratic political system. A bit similar to the US's, where we have a two-party system, for the most part, except on local elections. Um, which means that even though, theoretically, Labour would be the good one, uh, they're not. Um, because they're also Tories. Right, I'm just going to run over here and hope for the best. Yeah, basically we have three conservative parties. It's fucking irritating. Right, my guy's getting a little bit cold. If I can find somewhere that's actually shielded from the wind. Oh, it's actually... Oh, he's warming up. Hey! Oh, he was warming up. All right, it's mostly the windshield then. All right, maybe I can make some tea or something. All right. I can find somewhere. Yeah, then the greens and the right-wing loonies. Which, the greens are ostensibly good, but they're, they're very... Um, they play the political game a bit too much, and they've sort of fucked over a lot of chances. The SNP are fairly good, um, but they're Scottish. Right, I'm just going to have to take some damage. And you know what? Because my character's cold, I'm not going to risk um, using my bow. Will you get your fucking revolver out, you prick?
Look at them slaughtering all these rabbits down here. I'm Ufo, so the Greens have power on the council level, though. And it's sometimes easy to forget that. They do... It's just, like, on the national level, so... On the national level, they don't, but on, like, the local council level, they do. Fair. There, there's quite a lot. I think they got, like, a few hundred Green council members, so, like... Yeah, it, it's one of those things It's easy to forget in British politics that we do actually have council level stuff, which affects a lot of shit, but it just doesn't affect any like high level legislation. I'll take care, Grim. I won't be streaming tomorrow. I'll probably be streaming again later in the week. I might not stream some Long Dark. I just might try something else. So maybe, I don't know, a horror game or something. I literally just came down here for fuck's sake. Or did I? I think it's a different one. But we're gonna go a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, I was thought I was warming up. Right, I'm going to have to take some condition damage. Do I have any... No, I don't. Right, I hate taking condition damage. It fucking annoys me. See, cold is a thing that can kill you without you realising it very fast. Um... Yeah, but Grim, I will stream soon. Uh, you, I usually give like, an hour's notification or two, and I'll usually tweet about it. Um... Get my Dead by Daylight stuff in with Stella and Quick Cute Crow first, then we'll sort out when I do that. It's like a cave or something? Oh, literally, is there a cave or something? There is a cave. Like I survived another night. Okay, fine. I was just trusting there wasn't any bear in here or something. Well, that's helpful. Yeah, you really need a second monitor for streaming. If you're, like, on a console, you can maybe, like, have a second device. I think Stella does that a lot with her phone. Um, let's have a cup of coffee. Yeah, and as Stella points out, it is it is easy to make yourself kind of make obstacles. To give you guys an idea, right, and I've mentioned it a few times, when I first started the channel, I actually just streamed, like, I, I, my first stream was cross-legged on my bed with a cheap set of headphones. I didn't even have a desk. And that was when my channel was, like, insanely popular. Um, <laughs> like, when I was getting, like, I think I had 700 viewers in one stream. On my first ever stream. And it was a shit myself, to be fair. But, like, yeah, I, it, it's easier just to kind of, I guess, almost get on with it. You know, I'm actually just gonna... Nah, it is morning, though. You know what? Let's... I'm gonna get very cold, but... He's actually warming up now. Oh, fuck it. All right. Ah, oh, screw it. All right, well, fuck it. I've got some wood, at least. Fair enough, Spear, then yeah, you'll have to get a second monitor. Um, or like have an overlay or something. <clears throat> well, no, Spear, actually it does sound like yourself most. And also be polite. Um, please. Because you don't need to, you know, you could put an overlay on. There's a million and one things you could do to bypass the inability to read the chat. Right, um... Okie dokie, where are we going? 
I haven't actually taken this route for fucking young. And to be fair, normally I would... Actually, why am I doing that? A bit late for it, but screw it. I like to actually detail my entire route and I can kind of forgot. Yeah, you see, there are ways to do it. I said, the first streams I did were on a console. The chat was on an overlay. I was sitting cross-legged on my bed. And I didn't have any idea what I was doing. And it was very funny. Um, <laughs> I think it was directly to Twitch, so I don't have the video. But I was, I just had no fucking clue what I was doing. <laughs> Lol. I remember because we were building in, um... One of the farms in uh, Fallout 4. And I was trying to build something while also reading chat. And there were like 700 people at one point. It was fucking insane. Um, I think this is the way we need to go. I said I haven't uh, taken this route in ages. So I actually don't know where I'm going. Normally I do. Hmm. Speaking of, let's put up some wood. Nah, it's um... Beginning with a W. The one right at the bottom, it's not Abernathy, bottom, is it West W? Um, Cricket stands outside there sometimes. Hey, leave running with her. Warwick, that's it. Yeah, well, I, uh, brain like a sieve. Yeah, Warwick Homestead. So basically we're streaming at Warwick Homestead and it was a whole thing. Nah, not enough. Plus, it's all old. Oh, hey, bro. Could end up being well, nothing. <laughs> Definitely, that that sounds like it. Um, I'm gonna turn my thing out. I'll put it that way. How's my weight doing? Forty-seven loads. I keep worrying I'm going to see a bear in one of these, but apparently they don't spawn inside, so we're fine. A lot of these cairns. Just clicking on them. I don't think there's an achievement to click all of them. Oh, there might be. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> I hope there isn't, because I'm not going to get it. I feel this game gives you uh, an unrealistic idea of how many are uh, <coughs> <coughs> how many cave systems there actually are, are IRL. All right, yeah, for, yeah, I'm gonna stream for about two more hours, so I'm gonna stop kind of kind of around close to twelve. Ooh. So I should be here if you're just nipping to the shops. I'm not going to pick that up, but it is handy to grab one. Okay, um... I think I remember correctly this place is a bit of a... Oh, no, it's up there. But I do remember this one being a bit of a maze and me getting lost the first time. We're doing fine for food. We're also nice and warm too, which is grand. Um, I might want to boil some water, but I'm fine for now. Oh yeah, no, I remember this place because I got really lost and then didn't notice this route. Um, I like spent ages walking around it and then didn't occur to me to look up and see this path. <laughs> It's all coming back to me now. I do think this goes to Pleasant Valley. I think that's quite a cute way of acknowledging the backers. I wasn't a backer in this because back in 2014 I was skint. Um, but I would have been a backer. Yeah, it, it's a cute little it's a cute little nod, I feel. Um... I like to back indie games, like there's um, uh, Sunless Skies, which is another one of my favourite games, uh, which I did back, because um, I played Sunless Seas. 
You can click on them. There's a little counter you can like, click them on. And I always thought that was quite a cute way. I've always wanted to, um, if like one of these devs do a, another game, I'm definitely going to kickstart it to a higher level. Yay! It was this way! Yay! And at least for now, it's not really blizzardy, so we have to see where I'm going. Yay! Now, can I remember the way to Pleasant Valley Farmhouse? No, obviously not, because it's been ages. Oh, someone does like Lovecraft and horror. Not me, obviously. Um, it's down this way, I think. I might break my ankle. I've never actually finished Sunless Skies or Sunless Seas. I've played them for hundreds of hours and, like, played effectively to finish, but I've never actually completed Actually, that's a complete and utter filthy lie. Sunless Seas, I actually did several of the dynasty things. Or one of them, I think. But I've never finished Sunless Skies. Oh, yeah. H.P. Lovecraft was a weirdo. Which is why I always like it when people make stuff about him, like his his mythos, but then make it in a way that you know he'll hate it. I think they made like this Lovecraft in horror game and one of the main characters is a black woman. And obviously him being a raging racist, it was just very funny. I'm like, ha! He would have hated it. Good. Twat. <laughs> oh, I like Pleasant Valley. So Pleasant Valley has this mass... So Pleasant Valley is the kind of more rural area of it's covered in snow but there's a giant there's loads of hay bales when we get to the main road and there's a giant farmhouse it's a really really good place to shack up and also it's like really really um oh yeah he was the og himself um it's all right kent All <laughs> right, in White One Souls. I finally saw that. I was like, that's a bit weird. Especially considering we're talking about H.B. Lovecraft. I'm like, yeah, I love him in a bit of White Wine Sauce. Ah. <laughs> Kent's one of the Elder Gods, and they've been, like, draining H.B. Lovecraft in the afterlife of energy. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> right, anyway. Anywho... Really? I bet they... I mean, they did make it so they were trying to... No, you're not making it realistic. Because apparently, like, the thing about wolves, for example, um, is the fact that the wolves actually aren't very aggressive. Um, but obviously, you know, they took some liberties. Really, Spear? See, that would be cool. To be fair, they're, like, fairly decent with a lot of that kind of stuff. I'm actually going to go over this hill here. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to keep doing this so I can see where I've gone. This is, like, kind of important at Pleasant Valley because it's quite a large area and you get lost quite easily. <clears throat> oh, look, there's, there's a thing. See, there's a thing over there. See, Pleasant Valley's the worst one if it's a blizzard because I, I never have any idea where I'm going. Um, I'm like, cool, I'll just walk that way and hope I bump into a house. Um, which for, for middling success. Hello, thing. Oh, there's a fishing hut. Ooh. I didn't bring much charcoal, but I should have enough to serve by at least the route of what I'm taking. Why is there feathers but no corpse? Oh, because there's a corpse right there, David. And I don't think one of those corpses has dropped something for me for ages. Hope I can still eat this. Nah, I found it shit. <clears throat> pensive, uh, pensive pond. You're a pensive pond. Man's is a bit tired. Hopefully, we can get to the house before you get too tired. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh, did he? 
Yeah, that one's a bit silly. Because if I remember correctly, like, um, I'm not going to pick up the wood. Um, you don't actually, the wind doesn't actually protect you that much. So, like, it doesn't really help um, much at all. Like, I think you'd, like, save a few degrees, um, which is a bit silly. I think it does protect you from the wind chill. Because, yeah, like, most modern cars would be insulated to quite a degree. They might be quite cold, but if you were in a car... You know, because people sleep in their vans all the time in very cold areas of the world. Um, like Canada. <laughs> and they don't freeze to death. Also, it's quite easy to freeze to death in this game. <laughs> right now, can I see where I need to go? Kent, I believe in you. Sort of. Maybe. Start in Mystery Lake, right? Because um, it's the easiest place to start. Don't panic. Don't walk towards wolves unless you have loads of guns like me. Although I'm still not going to do it. Actually, no, because I'm going to run because I'll get tired. Look, 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 Stella's actually encouraging. I'm like, you vaguely got this. You, you might be okay. Um, it's quite hard. <laughs> Funny thing is, back um, back when the game was in early access, you, you physically... I think the longest you could ever physically survive was 50 days. Because this was before... Oh, there's a big bridge. I think that's where I need to go. Um, because before they introduced the skill system and ways for getting Tinder and stuff, basically your character would just run out of the ability to start fires. So even if you were you know, doing really, really well, you could literally maximum last 50 days. And also that was when they only had, back in my day when I was a young man, uh, they only had the coastal, co coastal Highway and Mystery Lake. Good times. <laughs> I think I've got a screenshot from like 2015 when I found the bunker for the first time. I was so happy. The hatch. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm quite good at the game because I've played it quite a lot. Um, so generally speaking, I, I can... I'm Usually when I die in this game, it's usually when I do something dumb. The the most common way for me to die is usually when I'm drunk. Um, or when I get a little bit too ballsy with the cold weather, which is why I'm now... I've kind of weaned myself off of it in the last few playthroughs I've done, where I sit pretty much just don't allow myself to hang around in the cold, even if it's just a little bit cold. Unless, of course, I know I'm going on only short journey. Because, like, here, right earlier, I was in the cold. And I'm like, oh, I could have possibly just kept on walking. But then it might have not gotten colder and warmer. And then I might have just slowly froze to death. And just never found somewhere to stay in the warm. So I took the first opportunity that I had. <laughs> Mate, you just saw me slaughter three wolves with a bow and arrow. I don't have to prove shit yeah, fam. Oh, I'm fairly decent at dealing with wildlife, as I've uh, showed the stream very recently. Here is slowing me down. Nothing. Eat shit, fam. I mean, I still get attacked by wildlife, but I'm, I'm fairly good at defending myself from them now. Oh, I, I've always wanted to get it on Switch, actually. I feel as if... I don't know, the only thing I would struggle with Switch is the Switch controls for, like, aiming isn't amazing. Um, it's just a bit hard to use, so... You meant the mooses? Oh, yeah, I do need to get on the mooses a bit. <laughs> I've killed one. The problem with the moose, you want to kill it near where, where you can actually transport the meat back. I saw that one when we were going in the coastal cottage. And I'm, I'm coastal fucking... I'm going to one day stop saying coastal cottage. Coastal highway. Um, and that thing was an absolute taunting me with its juicy juicy thick thighs that I could eat for weeks oh that's where we need to go it's that way nearly at the hoose ah <coughs> uh, Leon no no structures they've just kind of there's loads of craft well yeah quite a lot of crafting now um I'll, I'll show you so you like these are all the crafting recipes you can make so there's lots of stuff you can do. You basically, I think, can live, if not forever, for like several years comfortably. I think that's the that's the idea. 
I'm thinking like... Oh, no, 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 you would be fine there. Because I was thinking that you wouldn't be able to skin animals eventually because you would um, run out of sharpening stone. So eventually all your weapons would eventually blunt. But I think, I think metal is renewable because there's an area like, I think you can go to the beach or something and it washes up or something like that. So I think you can theoretically. I've seen someone tweet about like 1,700 days. I usually get bored. I mean, put it this way. I think this is technically my longest playthrough. But I don't think it actually is. Um, because of achievements somewhere. Uh, they're in there somewhere. Notes. Oh, it's, oh fuck it. Yeah, I, I think I've done about 50, 60 days before. But I think that was when they wiped your stats. Um, normally I get bored at around 30, 40 days. Whereas now I'm actually not bored. I think because I'm streaming it. So I've got motivation to show you guys all the stuff. <laughs> And there are loads of new areas that I haven't visited. I need to get on that. We've got the Ash Canyon and the Black Rock Prison area. Oh, there's my barn and my house. I can't remember which one's which. Is it? I think this is the house I need. We'll find out. Yeah, I think you can, in theory, survive for error. But like, I think after a like, I think after a year or something. No, it's probably going to be a couple of years. Yeah, you know what, because I'm already on day 50 nearly, and none of my stuff is nearly blunted. I haven't finished harvesting everything. I could theoretically go and hack down loads of metal structures. So I think after a few years, like, say, eight, 900 days, I think that's the point where you would start to, like, have to really struggle to find metal to... Once you've made a weapon, though, then you're good for, like, a few in-game months. So, like, you could probably scavenge a load of metal. And I'm wondering if cloth isn't renewable, because you need cloth to make the handles. There's probably a way to make cloth. <laughs> I don't think this is the house. I think this is the barn, and the house is, like, nearby. Fortunately, at Touchwood, it's not blizzardy yet, so we're fairly okay. Yeah, exactly that. Would you want to? Um, I would get bored. Like I said, probably I can see this run ending around a hundred days, I think, because like now that I'm fully tooled up, you know, we're not really staying much in a certain area. We're sort of like, okay, going back to Mystery Lake. I would do anything for a drink right now. Well, mate, I've got you, fam. Um, and then you know, scuttling off somewhere else. So like here, Pleasant Valley is probably. I might try Timberwolf Mountain because I've not really explored that area before, even though it's added ages ago. And I know I don't need to mark the cars or anything like that. I just like using the spray paint. It makes me feel like I'm, you know, keeping my map tidy. Bit of a RP. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is the house. I think the house is, like, over there. Because you've got this big barn. Although the man's a little bit sleepy, so I'm probably going to sleep in the barn. Although I'm a bit worried about the thing. Ooh. I'll have a think about it. He's walking quite slowly, but I don't know if he'll walk. Yeah, you know, I'm going to have a nap in that big barn over there. Because then if it gets blizzardy, I can just... can just hide in the barn for a while. I'm going to kill this deer. And I'm going to steal its meat. I'm such a good fucking shot. Here. I'm such the best fuck mugging shot. Right, I'm gonna um start a fire so these wolves don't think. Stepped out for an hour and it still hasn't stopped snowing. <laughs> Not sure if you meant IRL or in the game, but it also hasn't stopped snowing here. Um, I think I need to start a fire to scare these wolves off. So I can do that. Fuck off, wolves. No one likes you. <clears throat> yeah, Courtney's saying it. It is. I um. I I do probably prefer still Mystery Lake because I think it's. I think because I played from the start, it's always just been my favorite area. But this is arguably 
place to rest. One of the best located ones, because it's like really central. Okay, we're really, really loaded down, but I'm just gonna... Why don't I just cook here like a fucking not a knobhead? At least cook some of it here. Come at me, bro. You want to go? You want to go right now? You want my sweet venison? I mean, I know he doesn't come near the fire, but I'm still going to shoot you in the face. Ah, oh, look at him. You want to go right now? Yeah! You're going to bleed to death now, you little prick. There we go, that'll do me for a while. Oh, you want some venison from Davy? Do you? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck it, I was gonna waste the shot. Six days! Oh, ah, good. Okay, the blizzard just started, so I have to get to that. Yeah, sorry about the wait, but my man's really tired. But we do have loads of meat on me now. The barn is that way. <laughs> You're not that heavy. Come on. Yeah, I do love the snow in the game. It just makes me so happy. Not this kind of snow. It's really annoying. But at least I know that barn is there. So we're just going to hang out on the... we basically got... I might want to boil some water, actually. But I think there's a, a place I can cook inside. So it's fine. Just going to slowly walk there. Any minute now. No, it's going to take me at least three minutes to get there. <laughs> yeah, this is the only thing about Pleasant Valley. If you don't know your way around and you get this storm, you're fucked. Because you just, it's its so flat so that you just get completely lost. Yeah, I, I think there is Courtney, yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty grand. Because I've got like nine kilograms worth of venison now, so we don't have to worry about food, and I've just got a load of water. As soon as we get there. Come on, I know you were roughly that way. I might be a little bit exhausted when I get in there. We'll have to sleep for a few more hours. Is that it? No, that's a tree. I think I can just make out the outline of its roof. Yeah, there it is. Keeping my gun just in case the walls decide to have a cheeky... Uh, cheeky butchers. A cheeky nibble on my leg here. I think I remember correctly, when I did a video on the Long Dark, my second video was in Pleasant Valley, and I did not do very well. That video did very well, lol. Um, I didn't, because I was being a little bit too cash. I think because that's when I hadn't... I was on, like, day 20 or 15 or something. Whereas now I'm on, obviously, day, like, 50. This is very, very good point there, Courtney. Very good point. Right, look at that. And I made that just before he got too tired. Right, let's have a snooze. Um, do I have any water? Right, let's have a quick snooze first. Let's just literally just have a nap for two hours. Oh, I forgot to fucking eat before I went to bed. Fuck's sake. He won't die or anything, but he'll be moaning. Oh, it's actually fine. All right, fine. And I do have to have some water. Right, okay. Let's have a look-see in here. And also find that fire barrel. We'll loot this area proper later. I'm going to crack this fairly decent amount of shit in here. Where's that fire barrel gone? There you are, gorgeous. Have a wee nap right here. <coughs> <coughs> what if 
fire strike coming up. Yeah, Spear. So that was actually a major bugbear um, back, yeah, back in the day. All of the buildings were just ridiculously dark. So you couldn't walk around with them because the way they'd have done the lighting. Um, the Pleasant Valley house was an absolute nightmare for us. That the, the big house in the section. The, the setter. It was horrible. Oh, I only have one. Oh, fuck, I'll probably have a tin. Let's cook some peaches. I remember correctly, the soup didn't actually give me a tin. It was really, really weird. Hey, thank you. Lovely jubbly. Oh, why did I pick that for? Okay. You bought a lot of water. Not a lot of water, but quite a bit. Oh, why didn't I do that for being disorganized? There we go. One more set will do it perfectly, I think. Take it. Take it. I'll take the can. How long have we got? An hour and 40 minutes. Let's cook some more meat then. Oof. Again, vegetarian, but when I see that venison go down. Ooh -hoo -hoo. You better believe. Will I be able to research before I sleep? Will I research before I sleep? Will I be able to... Yes, top pad. Cool. Masterfully done. Masterfully done. And the blizzard stopped as well, which is handy. More venison. Late night snack. You shouldn't eat this close to bed, Squire, just saying. Um, give you indigestion and you won't burn it down properly. You'll get fat. So I should be able to just make the trek to the actual major house now. Um, I'm going to pick some stuff up in this house. But hey, I might scoot round this barn. I am quite aware that, like, he's quite low, way down already. That is a good point. Um, I'm gonna waste. Some, well, actually, no. Ah, they've changed it now, so you don't actually eat all the food if it's not used up. There we go. Hmm. He is quite laid down. I'm gonna. I might. St Drop some stuff here, to be honest, actually. I'm going to drop those, because I'm just never going to use them. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm actually not going to loot this house. I'm going to drop all my stuff over at the house, other house first, and then come back here. Uh, no, Courtney, we've actually left Mystery Lake. Uh, so, oh, beautiful weather. Loves it. Um, so, we've left Mystery Lake. Um, and now what we're doing is I'm setting up at... Pleasant Valley, so then we can make the journey towards um, Ash Canyon and also the Black Rock Prison place. Oh, fucking dickhead. Oh, that's a lot of them, though. To be honest, I might just run away from them. Where's the farmhouse right here? Oh, I was getting those arrows. That is... Hey, boys. Fuck it, let's kill them all. I might regret this. There are like two arrows there, so it's fine. Watch me slaughter the wolves with my bow of skills. Oh, I missed shit. Got him. Oh, I still he still went for me, little shit. Why oh, he's dead now? <laughs> right, I'm killing the gun. I don't have time to get my arrows out. Right, any more? Little pricks. <laughs> that was a waste. <laughs> 
That one was a bit of a waste. I don't know. All right, okay. The good thing is, even though that's mildly wasteful, um, those guys will not be coming back for ages. And to be honest, it's fine. I'd get two very good bow kills and I missed one of them. That one's probably going to die. Let's kill this one, unless he's bleeding out already. I'm giving myself a C- minus for that, because I did quite well against the first two, and then I missed the first one, and it all went a bit to shit. Come on! I do love slaughtering all the wolves. <laughs> when you finally get the bow, and your character gets good at it, and you're like, yep, yeah, cool, alright. That's quite a few dead wolves already. Yeah, mate, I'd run too, to be honest. Ah, oh, there's so many! <laughs> the thing is, if you kill these wolves, right, because these wolves are a pain in the arse in the area, if you sort of kill them, they don't come back for like a week. Um, and it does make the game a lot easier, especially if your area is like Pleasant Valley. I did. I did the same in the the coastal camp, uh, the coastal road, because it's like, and it does train your archery up, which is handy. And there's those arrows here anyway. Feels like watching a Far Cry stream. <laughs> Lol. Ah, <laughs> oh, another one. Yeah, come on. <laughs> the blood. I'm. I'm wiping it. This is an. This is an extended family we're wiping out here. Come on, you little shit. What was that? Is that your cousin? Come on. Come on, you, you're the hero. Come back, you little fucker. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five. Right, then, one, two, three. Four. I've killed six of the little shits. <laughs> Come on, I'll make it seven. I don't have to worry about you guys for ages. Atta boy. <laughs> I think because my skill point's so high, it actually got a critical hit then. Generally speaking, that wouldn't have worked. Right, boys. Well, I'm going to have a nap because it's cold. Um, But thanks for all the murder. Um, Am I going to eat you? No, not at all. Oh, well. That was my arrow that missed. Yay. <laughs> Running into the bar. I, I I thought you were being joking about running them over. Um, I, I I would run them over. I actually the thing is Far Cry is one of those games. I actually really liked um, uh, Far Cry Five, and then Far Cry Six wouldn't work on my computer. It had that same problem where it would run fine in the graphics test, but then it would crash randomly. I don't know you guys, but um, that worked up a bit of an appetite there. Well, actually not appetite. I'm thirsty though. Make new socks out of its pants. I am quite, I am quite proud of that slaughter actually, and I'm just really happy I got the bow because it's just so easy to replace the arrows. Technically, again, I do sort of need to be semi-cautious. That's right, my friends. Feed. Um, which way is the house from here? Did I do this one? I can't remember. I did. Um, I think I came from that way, so I think it's... Oh, wait, there's the bridge, isn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it should be over here. Ah, I think it's that way. Yeah, attraction. I'm basically the same, um, normally. But for whatever reason, Far Cry 5, I didn't like it at first. Got bored. And then played it again, like, last year? Or is it early this year? Um... And now, like, the, then I played it and I just binged the entire thing, loved it. Yeah, Spitz, you actually, see, that's the thing, like, it's, it's really random with me, because, like, Detroit Become Human worked fine for my computer. Um, and, like, my computer's really powerful, so, like, playing Control are uh, maximum graphics fine. Um, Watch Dogs Legion, same thing with all of the uh, ray tracing, 
perfectly fine, no problems. For some random reason, Deathloop wouldn't work properly. Like, it would work fine that it would randomly crash. No, at first it just wouldn't even get past the menu. Um, Elden Ring, same thing. So I have, I think there's like, it might be the NVIDIA graphics card having like a, a compatibility issue or it's, uh, my suspicion is there's some kind of software or program on my compute which I'm not aware of which is causing things to sort of go a little bit squiffy. Now guys, I have to remember which way the house is. And I don't. Um... But it isn't far away from here. I think it's more that way, actually. Um, I'm going to be really naughty. And maybe even just Google this. Because I don't want to have to spend ages. Well, yeah, I'm going to do it. Don't judge me, but I can't be able to go in the wrong way. Um, one second. <laughs> I can't be bothered to... Because the problem is... Um, it'll just be me wandering around for fucking 50 minutes if I get lost. Uh, where is it? So I'm literally going to Google Pleasant Valley map just so I go the right way. Ah, okay. So where the hay storage is down. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Why am I sitting on the side of my chair? I don't know. It's comfy. Um, and I'm reading something. Okay, so it's that way. I think. One sec. I've actually lost it already. Um... So if the three are in a line... Ah, the tractor. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So it is that way. See, see, I was about to go in the complete opposite direction. You just like really... Oh, I think it's just walking this low. Yeah, no, it's, it, th this is one of the reasons why I'm glad I bought... I bought an Xbox S, and I'm going to be buying an Xbox X probably for a Christmas present for myself, or like a kind of a winter present. Because, um, yeah, 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 like, they just... Sometimes random games will just crash, and I'm like, I just don't have the energy for it. Um, so I use this PC for, like, rendering and streaming and stuff, and I'll still stream through it when I, when I finally get a new capture card. Um, I think I'm going to get lost. Ah, uh, Joe, we're playing, um, uh, survival mode. So, no story. So, I think in three buildings, so it'll be... I think we just go down the road, actually. It might take me a while to find the house, everyone. Apologies for that. Um, Z, no, not at all. Like I said, Bethesda, basically, Deathloop was the first Bethesda game that didn't work properly for me. Um, and then the other ones was a Ubisoft game, and then Elden Ring. But Elden Ring was the weirdest one. Well, actually, no, maybe not the weirdest one, because basically Elden Ring would just work flawlessly on Ultra Graphics, and it would just stop as if something had interrupted the game, and it just stopped. And I'd even, like, um, um, I'd even, like, check the event manager and it said there was, like, a, an event that was interrupting it. Oh, J.O., I, you, I don't know if you just saw, I just murdered, like, seven wolves. Um, they, they ain't no wolves. Actually, my skill must have gone up so much doing that. Oh, okay, not very much. I am level four, though. So they should be over here. Should we just follow this road down? No, yeah, I, I just murdered a shit ton of walls. I'm actually going to get on the road, because I think he's going to be walking. Hey, double A. Uh, the stream's going very, very well. Yeah, Z, how about... This is, again, why I've, like... I like PC games, and I'm, to be honest, my favourite PC games are more indie games like this. Um, if I can get something on a console, I'm going to get it on a console. Um, I'm an adult with money, goddammit, and I have no kids. Um, I don't have a mortgage, so I'm going to waste my money on toys. <laughs> um, so I've got an Xbox S, which I absolutely adore. It's so quiet as well. Um, and I'm probably... I'm going to buy a PlayStation 5 at some point, maybe. But I don't know anymore. But I'm definitely getting an Xbox... Oh, another one? You want to go as well? Oh, are you the other side of that? I don't think you want to get over here. 
I might take a fire, actually. Oh, yeah, I don't see you. Oh, there you are. You want to go? You want to throw hands? I just slaughtered, like, seven of you. Yeah, you want to go? You want to go right now? Oh, because we'll go right now. Piece of shit. Oh, you did break my arrow, though. That's a bit annoying. Awesome. Come on. Come on, help me train my archery. Help me train my archery, you little fuckers. Oh, that's nice of you to charge me head on, you little fucking prick. <laughs> Sorry for the slow walking, by the way. I think my character's just trudging through the snow. This is the one problem with the Pleasant Valley when you first come here, is getting all your shit here. Um, I think it's over here. I hope I've gone the right way. Normally I don't check the map, because I like to kind of wander around, but I didn't want you guys to have to put up with me getting lost. <laughs> That's fair, Spear. Probably shouldn't check my Instagram then, because I'm always posting pictures of my food. <laughs> hey, I cook quite well. I'm, I make fancy stuff. Um... Yeah, double. This is why, like, I, I they're, they're constantly updating it, but I'm wondering whether, because they've been updating it for years. I just, I, I need to check. I think maybe there was mention of them making a new game. I can't remember. The lead developer follows me, um, although, like, the founder of the company follows me on Twitter. Maybe I should DM him and be like, Ralph, my boy. Um... <laughs> Gives us, uh, gives us the inside scoop. But no, I don't... I, I think it would be limited by the building engine. I mean, put it this way, they haven't even allowed us to... I would be happy just to be able to tidy the insides of the houses a little bit. Um, I do want to make some... Do we have any wood? Oh, I actually have nine twigs. Let's... Yeah, I'm just going to sort of make a cup of coffee here, I think. Oh, really? That smells amazing! Um, I realise that I haven't actually made a good curry um, yet. Yeah. Ever since I've done like my new cooking thing. I made like a really nice chickpea stew the other day. Um, and I want to make a good curry. I might actually, because I'm working from home this week. Mm. I'm doing, um because I'm going to France in a month, right? I'm trying to burn off some weight. Because um, I'm feeling quite thin, but I've got a little bit of podge I need to get rid of. And so I'm doing a kind of alternate day calorie restriction kind of thing. Tomorrow is the day I get to eat. So maybe um I should make some make some curry. Because so I was thinking about it the other day actually. Drink up fam. And a chickpea one sounds really good. There we go, that should be more than enough. I'll leave you there. Actually I'm uh, no, see I was gonna wait, but it's quite nice weather, so I'm gonna sort of just push on ahead. I always mark the area, but I am actually gonna. So I know which bit it is. And good shout on the mark. I won't mark the hay bale, I'll mark the sound of the thing so I know where it is. Cool. Alright, it's just on here now. Yeah, Spear, um, what was the game I really, really liked? Um, I made a video on it. One sec. Um. Into the... Is it into the... No, oh, fuck it, what was the name of the game? It was basically like The Long Dark, except had a really colourful blue... Fuck was it called? Can't remember. Can't remember it. Um, so I'm just checking my phone now. Um, Among Trees, that was it. Um, a, a game called Among Trees. Right, Google it, because you'll be really depressed because it's fucking gorgeous. Um... For Harbour, lol. Um, but yeah, no. Um, Among Trees got... They basically abandoned the game. And it's like this, except you're in like the middle of this absolutely gorgeous forest. And you have this little 
gorgeous house that you basically build up. And, oh my god, that game breaks my heart that it was... Oh, there's the house. Um, that it was cancelled. Oh, it wasn't cancelled, they just abandoned it. Um, and I basically, I, I, I got really... Someone l let me know about it, like, about six months before it was leave, entering early access. And then they said, and then I followed them, and then I got it the second it dropped on um, Epic Games. Oh my god. And it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's it's stunning. Seriously, just guys, Google Amongst Trees game, and just look at the screenshots. It is stunning. It's basically sort of the art style of this, but it's this really color. And when you get to the areas where it's like, there are different color plants. Oh my god. And then this whole mechanism where you had like, you could extend the house and like add some planters in. And I seriously, any game that allows me to just grow crops, oh, loves it. Especially in cute little planters in a greenhouse. Yeah, right, Z. Right, right. Stunning. And they just completely abandoned it. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Day ruined. Absolutely sad face. Um, on the plus side, we're at the house now. Yay, at the house. Yay! Look, that I need a sort. My obsessiveness needs to sort this house out. So it's actually just from the sort this map out rather. Right now, because this is my going to be my home for a while, I always mark it with a square. Why? Because why the hell not? You can pet the fox. Yeah. Oh, it's not going this game. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> um. So we were talking about lighting earlier, and so this house, when it when it was in early access, this house you just couldn't see shit. So even during the daytime, it was just the, the way they did the lighting interiors. It was just so bad. Right, let's just dump all my shit in a cupboard. <coughs> oh, actually, you know, what, let's put um, I think it's a fridge. Yeah, I'll put my meat in here. Rather than putting in a meat locker, I guess I could actually put it in a freezer. I mean, not like it's actually on, but it'll stop me going off. And stop my man's being so weighed down. Right, cool. So let's have a butcher's. Um, you may call this wasteful, but I always have a lantern on when I'm searching a big house like this, because I might miss shit. And there is a lot of shit. Right, I'm going to move you on there. Right now, you can go on there. Uh-huh. But yeah, among trees. Oh, oh wait, it's just one of those annoying things as well where the developers are just really quiet and just, just never acknowledge. They don't even say, look, sorry. They just apparently just, you yeah. know. Um, Courtney, so yes, I do that with the fridge. Um, I don't know if you're watching... Well, oopsie. When I was, um... Uh, when I was in, um, Mystery Lake. But what I like to do is I like to... Put my I put I like to put a load of my food items like on the side so they're kind of out so I put my all my meat in here and all of my food items the clothes honestly I tend to rip up um, unless I want I find something good which I know I want to keep as a backup but yeah generally I follow that as well this house is a bit too big so often I keep things mostly in the kitchen I won't pick up any of that water oh this one does actually have a basement I forgot about that. Um, no, you can still buy the game. So, guys, you can still buy the game, and it's it's good, but they've abandoned it, so there's going to be no new updates, and it's basically incomplete. It's worth a pick up, but you might get depressed because it's beautiful, and you're going to be like, oh, no. I'll leave all that fur wood there because it's going to weigh a ton. Oh, look, a rifle round. This is why you turn your lantern on. Can I not get it? Because I would have missed that. Um, pick up all the books, though. <laughs> I mean, it is a good game, but it's just like, yeah, oh, gorgeous. Um, but they abandoned it, so. Mm. Uh, Courtney, exactly the same as well. I mean, I usually I'll carry like all of my matches with me all the time, and I don't need to use um any uh thingy anymore. Uh, Tinder, that's what it's called. The dating app. Because um, no one responds to my messages. Lol. No. Um, so, uh, 
Uh, so I don't need to use any tinder, but yeah, no, I always drop all the wood. Um, so this is big. I like I like getting loads, spending like a whole day just gathering sticks, and it just lasts me for like a week. Yes, but it is in a playable state. It's just, it's a shame. I guess maybe we've been spoiled with games like The Long Dark, where they, you know, just, they it's a labour of love. With this one, with, with Among Trees, I get the impression maybe the team just sort of lost a lot of talent and, like, it just seems to be that there was a reason that they can't really... Yeah, exactly, I blame society. God, problem with houses, it makes some noises, this house. Sometimes some of the, the noises your character makes when they're looking through stuff, especially some of the cupboards, sounds like someone's walking up behind you and it scares the shit out of me every time. Honestly, the loot here has been pretty crap other than that ammo. We're only going to bring the present uh, be in the present valley for a while because I'm going to make the way to Ash Canyon. Because I've never been there. But it's better to go from here. I will have to Google the direction of Ash Canyon though, because I've I've never been to it, so I don't actually know which direction it is. <clears throat> yeah, it was gorgeous. Gorge. This is a very satisfying looty game, this. Anything under the bed? Nope. Oh! No, that's a carpet, David. Among <laughs> Trees King of Oh, I know, because you love the game. Um, Among Trees King of Mouse. It's fucking lame. <laughs> Oh, lol. Twat. <laughs> oh. Oh, What game getting abandoned was my joke moment? I'm still upset that we might never get, um, or it might not be good, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Um, that one is, that, that one's a sore spot. It hasn't been abandoned, but it's in a worrying, s oh, a flare. Um, in a worrying place. The game looked good in all the gameplay, so I'm hoping it was far enough away that you know, not much needs to be done, other than just more grunt work. Because I love Vampire the Masquerade. I just did that one. And I did that one, so I've done all the rooms. Oh, I've done all the basement to do. Bit of a shit amount of loot in here, wasn't there? Um, to be honest, bit shit. Like... One cool thing we found. Rifle rounds. Um, Courtney, um... No. I, I try and stream... Like, a couple of times during the week. If possible. I've only just started... I took a bit of a break, because... I've been making content for six years, and I just get exhausted sometimes. and need to just sort of do nothing productive whatsoever. Um, which was what I was doing, because I'm lazy shit. Um... I'm going to try and get a bit more of an actual schedule together. I don't know if you follow me on Twitter. Usually that's when I let people know. I try and give people a day in advance warning. I'm thinking of maybe um, starting a process of like just... Um, I don't know if you have notifications enabled, but what I'm thinking of doing is if I'm planning to stream the following day, is posting a little update on the actual update section on YouTube. So you guys will get a notification saying, oh yeah, I'm you know a message from me. A direct message. No, it won't be a direct message. It will just say, I'm streaming tomorrow. Uh, that's a good way of doing it, Z, because that's usually when I say I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I might use the the post fun function on um, thingy. I am a little bit, because I've got a full-time job, and I'm also, as I said, very, very lazy, um, as, as many of you know. So I'm trying to kind of, like, get into defeat my own laziness. This is sort of why the reason why I did the long dark to sort of break the dry spell, because um, it's one of my favourite games. I know I play it a lot when I play it again. Yeah, Courtney, or I said I probably just might just use the tw the notification post. Yeah, I'll check Twitter. 
I've actually been lazy with my Twitter posting mostly. I've just been playing video games and sleeping. What's the time? Oh, yeah, okay. So we've got a, probably another... I don't think we'll be able to make it to Ash Canyon. Well, we won't, actually. So what I'll do for the next stream, which I'll do later in the week, I might take a break from streaming this and stream, like, something else, because I'm trying to, say, do, like, two games. Um, don't I'm going to stream for another half an hour, so you, you're good there. Um, but then what I'll do is off-stream, I'll clear out the Pleasant Valley, and then we'll... I might even make it so I start the stream as I'm going into Ash Canyon rather than you guys seeing the entire journey like you did today. Today was an accident actually because I wasn't planning, I was planning, oh, syrup. I was planning on actually having got to Pleasant Valley or nearly there, but I ended up doing my timing a bit wrong. Basically, I'm making loads of excuses um, as I am wont to do. Right, let's drop my tins. Yummy crackers and all this. Let's make a little bit of a display. Oh, a bit of standard fair crackers. Maple syrup. Oh, get back there, you little cunt. Very pretty. Very nice. Very nice. Right, I have absolutely shit tons of shit. So, um, I don't need to carry the rifle around now because we just killed a deer, so I could got to put that down for a my rifle gone? Oh, thank Christ for that. I thought I dropped my rifle. So I'll put this on the, the, the dining table. Yeah, Courtney, same. Same. Um, It's one of my comfort games for sure. Um, oh my God, look at how many sewing kits I have. <laughs> um, I mean, do I really need that many sewing kits? Um, Right, this is going to be my chaff jaw. So I'll put my chaff in here. Because these drawers are pretty good because they can store a lot of shit. Um, I just put the gunpowder in there. I'm sure it'll be very, very safe. Um, I need one of these carrying around. That should be enough. I'm going to carry the torch because it's handy. Um, I always carry two flares. Oh, yeah, I've got shit tons of clothing. I'm going to put the clothing in a cupboard, but not upstairs because I'm too lazy to go upstairs. So this will be the clothes cupboard. Oh, really, Courtney? Oh, hey. Sorry for the wasted hours. <laughs> hours loved. Um, yeah, no. Um, oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Th this makes me happy. It is one of my favorite games ever. It's just such vibes. It's such vibes. So chill. Until you die in a really stupid way, then it's shitty and I hate it. Oh. <laughs> right, my guy is very, very weighed down. So what books am I reading? I'm reading that and that. So I'll leave these here because I've got quite a lot of books. Oh, wow. Yeah, I do. Shit me. That would explain a lot. I'll take one of these with me. There we go. That's better. I don't need the, the, the roll or the tinder plugs anymore. Um, I've got like a million things I should really use them. Is there a medicine cabinet close by? Like, re yes, there is. Okay, I'll put my meds in here then. Look at how organized this is. I'm going to put my refugee tea in there because I always carry too much. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to keep two packs of painkillers though. Right, so I think. I think we're pretty settled. Um, to go for the next day. So let's explore um, around. Let's, let's let's have a butcher's. Hey, Laura. Ah, oh, very good, Courtney. Um, that's funny thing about that video is um, <laughs> I, I'm obviously I'm I was oh fuck me. Oh shit! Fuck! 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 Give me one second. I'm just going to get rid of this bear. Um, I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Yeah, fucking fuck me. That's get the crap out of me. I forgot bear spawned here. Right. Okay. I don't really. I don't really want that bear hanging around. Um. Oh shit me. Fuck. 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 If I can get somewhere where he can't. That, I swear that one's bigger than the others. 
<laughs> it's actually how much windows. Lol. Right, okay, I'm not gonna think. I'm gonna die. Oh, he's running away. Oh, thank fuck for that. Woo! He wouldn't have killed me, but he would have kicked the shit into me. Speaking of kicking the shit out of things, let's beat the crap out of these wolves. Oh, and don't forget the shells. They're all up there. Did you just not see what I did, fam? Did you just not see? Pricks. <laughs> Side of five light. Pardon me. One second. <laughs> Mustache. <clears throat> Right, okay, let's pick up my shells now. <laughs> also, um, that was the toughest bear ever, because normally I have to shoot them maybe twice. That one I had to shoot um, four times, which I've never had to do. Thankfully, I have, like, a bug, quite a lot of rounds, so it's okay. And norm the only reason I killed that bear is because he was right next to me house. Um, let me just check if there's any other wolves around here before I start. I'm just going to skin him. Fuck me. I, w I was not emotionally prepared for that one. Jackass. I'm getting quite good at killing the wolves, though. I always, when I take a break, I, I get a bit shit for a while. Um, and I'm like, oh god, so I keep getting attacked. But now I'm in master murder mode, so that's pretty cool. Right, let's mark this one as cleared then. That was a bit vicious, that. I was just having a nice chat. I was vibing. I was like, guys, we're gonna go explore now. No, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna murder Yogi the Bear. Oh, is it getting a bit blurry? Alright, well I'll look around. There's um there's a wee house over there I haven't checked. It's like a small barn. These sometimes have batteries in them, um which I'm too lazy to carry because they're always really heavy. This is right. I know there's never anything in these visors, but I always have to check out principle. <clears throat> Nothing. Anything in the boot? Right, seven butchers. <laughs> Sweet fuck. Ooh. No love for you. Alright, let's check this house. I'm quite happy with my shooting on the stream, by the way. There was a chocolate bar. Was there? Fucking really? Did I miss it? Was there? On the dashboard. Yeah, literally fucking blind as a bat. Actually, it's a granola bar, I have you know. Um, but thank you, because I, I, I was not paying attention at all. I was looking at the floor and in the glove box compartment. I didn't occur to me to actually, you know, look slightly between. Why, why would I, really? Dankashun! These trees are very creepy. A uh, spear, yes, I do. I, I get the impression they were gonna, they put them there because maybe, you know, some, because I know you get those Polaroid cameras, those Polaroids, um, Polaroid cameras, Polaroid, and I'm wondering whether maybe they were meant to be them. But I found like one of those and it was in a chest. Is it too crappy weather for me to mark this on my map? No, it isn't good. Look at my pretty map getting all pretty. <clears throat> that doesn't work. Exactly that. Alright, you get it. 
I'm like a chess piece, right? Yeah, I can only do certain directions. Um. Give us a charcoal, fam. I'm not picking that word up. It's not worth it. Really? Climb up in there. Really, 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 really. Oh, look! I'm guessing I have to shoot that. Fuck it. That did not work. Um, how do I get up there? Also, that gave me a ring in my ears. Any ideas what I meant to whack? Because you're right, there's a ladder there. Aw. Right, I'm going to be a bit gamey. Um... Because it auto saves when you go in the building, so I'm gonna reload really quickly, <laughs> so I don't waste the ammo. Um, also, we can now see how many days hours are played. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, I thought it would tell me. Okay. Oh, you're right. Literally, right there. Fucking stupid idiot, David. Thank you. That that would help. Why did I also take my lantern off? Oh, careful. All right there, fam. Going a bit slow across these planks, is it? <clears throat> I had no idea you could go up here. So eager to draw the X on the side of the house didn't occur me to look up. Is there anything here? Lofty goals. Get out. There's fuck all in here. Ooh, can I lower this? No, right. Ain't nothing. Alright, fine. Well, I didn't want anything in here anyway. Can I just jump down here? Ah. Fuck you, ladder. Oh, okay, there's some... I too far, I've already got, like, a rifle or two. I'm still going to mark it with the X, even though technically it won't, um... Update yet. Um, let's just make sure... This is why I map things. Just... Yes, that way. Down here. Follow the tweez. Follow the tweez. Hope there's no bear here. Oh, wait, there isn't because I fucking murdered it. God, my man is very, very unfair. You'd think after all this time he'd be an absolute unit, but apparently not. Does that lead to the barn? I don't know if it does. The house, even. Does it lead to the house? I don't know if it does. It leads near the house. Okay. Note to self, then I will follow it. I was going to um skin that bear, but to be honest, like, here's the thing with the bear. Um, is uh, I don't really use any of the animal gear. Um, I'm uh, all right. Anyway, I can't really. I've got to wait around now. We're going to do a little bit exploring, and it's only well, it's nearly night. Um, let's do some reading, I guess. He's a bit thirsty, though. Ooh. 
let's do some reading. <clears throat> Get my mendings up, actually, is quite grand. Hey, you might not be, um, you might be right there, Spear. Um, I'll research already completed. Let's do... Oh, research already completed. That one's fine. Oh, this one. Oh, not to go level and firearm. Unless it's too dark. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, nearly. Right, let's have that. Let's have a snooze, then. One thing I like about the um, uh, the camp office in uh, Thingamajig, Hoojma Flip, what do you call it, um, in the place, Mystery Lake, um, is it's nice that everything is just, like, really close to each other, or is this one I have to, you know, wander upstairs and sleep in an adult bed? Yeah, I stretched. Oof. Right. I might have to end the stream actually in a bit because I figured this is probably a good time to do it. Um, we've done about three and a half hours, which is a solid time. What I'm going to do for the next one is I'm going to deliberately make it so that we start the stream almost just in the action. So like either entering Ash Canyon um, or the prison. I'm probably do the Ash Canyon first because you get those two things, which I want. Let me just get to the morning though so it's nice and morningy. This is true, I should really... How far am I away from the blizzard? I'll check it. There should be something somewhere. Oh, I can still sleep for a few hours. I think he was very tired, to be fair. Is it morning? No, not morning. Nearly morning. Fine, I'll dick around and clean my rifle. I thought I nearly clicked harvest then. I was going to have a major panic. How's my bow doing, actually? 85%, so it's pretty good. It's a very chunky revolver, this, as well. Which still weirds me out that it does no damage. Relatively speaking. I've got to check the achievements, actually. Because I said I was looking at them earlier, and I was like, Oh, yeah, I should totally do them. And I did the one for, like, crafting uh, the gear and stuff. Um, it's really dark. I can't really do anything. Which is mildly annoying. <laughs> I can cook, I guess. I'll cook some food. Oh, yeah, no, Laura. To be honest, I normally wouldn't do a Monday. It just happened to be that we streamed on Saturday, and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do on Monday because I really want to do it. So, yeah, normally Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is a good one for me, but like Tuesday, Thursday, and maybe Sunday are also pretty good. I I'm going to try and get. Oh, I say I'll get it as a reg regular schedule. I probably won't. It, it's the theory is I will get a regular schedule. Whether I actually stick to it as a whole. If I have much wood. I'll get some from out of the thing. Because, um, yeah, like, I'm just lazy and I get distracted. And I go out to the pub with mates or I, you know, can't be bothered. <laughs> The desire counts, exactly that. <laughs> uh, there's just not enough hours in the day and days in the week and days in the month. It's fucking annoying. Turned out pretty well. Alright, that should do for... I love this hob actually, because you can basically do like you can just cook everything and that's oh, so good. You have all these slots for cooking. Look at this. Every single one of them. You absolutely love to see it. Oh. Oh. From Monday to Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, we could even go by, I don't know, a random point of time, say 24 hours. This hob is like the best part of this entire house, I'll be honest. 
absolutely the best part of this entire house. Oh, I just drunk unsafe water. Ah, oh, I've got dysentery. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna shit myself. Fuck's sake. Um. Take all. Ah, oh, what a twat. Oh, it's fine. All right. Um. You know, I'm gonna leave it right there because I have to. Secure. I'll be fine. I don't. I won't die from dysentery. It's okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing way to end the stream. Potential. I promise I won't die from dysentery. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> to be honest, it's fine. He's got loads of food, loads of normal water. I can just sleep, and he's got a load of food, so we can have a day in, possibly getting cabin fever. What's that? I was about fucking. Um. So yes, this has been really, really good fun. <laughs> Thank you for that contribution, <laughs> Um. I'll stream again. Said. So what I'll probably do is um. I'm going to try and think of something else to play. Something actually, maybe, a horror game. I don't know. I'll think of something. Otherwise, we'll stream this again. Because um, I've got Outlast still installed, and I still do want to play that. Um, but I will probably stream this again this week. Um, what I'm going to do is off stream. I'm going to not die from dysentery. Um, and also, uh, um, probably get everything. I'll do a little bit of exploring in Pleasant Valley, and then I'll either, for the next stream, will be in Ash Canyon or Black Rock, or I'll do a stream where we're just super boring Pleasant Valley. Depends how much we play. Anyway, I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a grand week. And I'll speak to other people soon. Take care.